top of the morning, my fellow peasants. How you doing, you rowdy bunch of degenerates? Welcome back, guys. A little bit later than once again I intended this morning, because frickin' Ginge, he's had a restless night. He's looking a bit haggard and ghoulish. He stayed up pretty late for a very strong reason. He's seen through the eye of the needle. What happened to you, Ginge? We finished either, um, Evangelion, didn't we? Finished a Evangelion. Evangelion. Watched the movie. It was midnight. We'd gone deep in the hole of Ava. Bree wasn't letting up, was she? Was Bree like, was not letting what? up. What? What? I was like, I've got to go to bed. I've got rebirth. I've got my, my peasant crew to hang out with. Have mercy. And she was like, no, we're going. So we watched it and <laughs> in all words, Ava in this chat. Hello, Josh. Good morning, Leticia. Call the youngest, Kemi Santar. Good to see you guys. Classical Sin, chilling up in the chat. Nice to see you, man. Good morning, guys. Have any of you seen Ava? If no one, if, if you haven't, w w w watch it. Watch, watch it. it. Watch it. But it's not, that, it's not that long either, is it? It's not that long. But what? <laughs> what's your takeaway? What was your experience last night, Ginge? Existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Full blown is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It goes ludicrous. This out of at the end. Yeah. Tumbling down, tumbling like down, down, tumbling down. My fucking neural networks are yeah. tumbling down. <laughs> I don't want to say anything for spoilers, but I've seen Ava. It's nuts, isn't it? It's so crazy. I think that was like Bree's twelfth, twelfth uh, playthrough, but. Yeah, I'm still on my little ratchet setup. Wish I could show you it, guys, but it's all very precariously set up. Hopefully, we don't have any. Oh, could you quickly run the uh, Ethernet cable in? I found it was more sturdy when I was running that. Careful, it's like Spaghetti Junction over here, Ginge. Yeah. One misstep, and you're ripping all my tech off and smashing it. Ginge is very clumsy when it comes to tech. You think I'm bad? I'm lightweight. Like Ginge is next level. That's a lie. Alright. Go on. Can it, can it come any closer? It's really, uh... I'm just concerned that it's not really giving me any... slacking cables. Can we want to shish this back? I don't want to pull it back. Alright, oh, actually I'll do. Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. Alright, you're just gonna have to luau underneath it. Oh yeah, try to take some of those kinks out. Careful, Ginge! Careful. But anyway, good morning, guys. We are at the, uh, we're still in Coral Desert. But I think I'm gonna go to Gongaga. Gongaga. Uh, I just saw someone in the chat saying, it, it's a shame or it's sad that Pez is skipping so many side quests. I haven't skipped much at all. I've completed all of Costa del Sol uh, region, grasslands, like 97% of the way there. This is a few tiny things. And last stream, I've just been clearing this out. What do you want? <laughs> I'm more or less completionist currently. But I'm going to do a little bit, but then we are going to Kongaga because it's a very special person I want to meet. My anticipation is through the roof for it. Hello, Shelby. Good to see you. Hey, guys, can't stay by during the stream. Ah, oh, hi and bye then. Hi and bye, you traitor. <laughs> Pez, are you going to go back to content creating in the future? It's maybe, quite... maybe. Um, I feel like I definitely have going to have the fire for covering rebirth. I mean, obviously, depending how it ends and how saucy it is. I don't know. No spoilers, guys. But is there a good amount of theory crafting to be had post rebirth? And has anyone been doing a good job in my absence? Because, yeah, if there's juice on the table for me to dissect, absolutely I'm going to do it. But I don't know. I think for maybe a year I might have to be a serious human being for a while, which is a terrifying, terrifying thought. But we'll give it a go. Um, but before we jump into the stream, guys, I just saw this popped up. Did you guys talk about this the other day? What's going to be the next Final Fantasy on the table? What do you guys want it to be? Some of you were like, 
straight on to 17. Straight on. Well, keep the mainline train a dick him, a choo choo him. Other people are like, yeah, I want that 9 remake to be real. Me personally, I'm sitting in like 10 3, camp a little bit. But I said, mid range games. I've got type next to cover, it's never gonna happen, but I'm gonna believe in it until the day I die. World of Final Fantasy 2, why not? World of Final Fantasy rocked. Is Jack Garland gonna come back in? Jack needs to come back. Jack Garland? Oh, oh. My gosh. Very lost. I mean, I was gonna say something as a spoiler. I can't spoil it. It's no. funny, his obsession with chaos and then what happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the big, the big one that I've always been talking about for a while is tactics. Evil East World. So Yoshi P, he's been talking about this for probably like three, four years now. Asking people, do you want something in the Evil East universe? We're going to go, maybe, we're going to run another tactics, another Evil East ting. Um, and we've just had it. Yoshi P, so this just came out today. Yoshi P says it's time for another Final Fantasy Tactics. We love Tactics as well. It's probably about time we do a new one. Woo! So, uh, in the interview, who do you do this interview with? I oh, don't know, I don't care. Um, let me go through it. We have a lot of our staff who worked on previous games like Final Fantasy Tactics or Final Fantasy 12. Hell yeah, there's a lot of people in the uh, Yoshi's team who have. Uh, been in the universe for quite a while. I'm trying to remember his name. Was it like Isikawa or something? I don't know, I missed it. So you're gonna have a lot of tactics, Phil, because a lot of the same people are on the team. You can feel where 16 uh, looked to explore tactics-esque kind of storytelling style. I feel like it needed to take more of a leaf from those books. Because, yeah, I feel like 16, the political components of the game, uh, of the story, was very strong early. And then it just, I don't know, it felt like it petered off. You know, the thing that was fantastic about tactics was how good the war scenarios, how good the geopolitical situations were, how fleshed out the, uh, the, the, the ruling bodies of the various nations and, and how they got embroiled and entangled with the story. And, yeah, 16 did a good job in many of those areas until the end where it then fell off and it's like okay we've got a fucking a prostitute a bartender and a, a fucking market vendor <laughs> as our ruling class i don't know i felt like uh no tactics was a little bit more powerful in my opinion because it was more realistic in how geopolitical chessboarding works it's brutal, it's savage, the little guy never wins, uh, and it's just bitter in that sense. 16 tried to be a little bit more optimistic, I thought. It tried to make it about the little guy. Oh, even the little guy, even the smallest among society can play a big role. Uh, there's a cool way to play that theme without shoehorning it and making it just so disproportionately unrealistic <laughs> that kind of just it didn't hit the same as those old tactics games did but anyway uh where was, it, where was it so yeah basically i think is that the whole article oh god that's this is not very much oh no he adds that he's very happy to hear another tactics game suggested because the team are fans of the game themselves. We love tactics. It's probably about time we do another one. So I mean, that tells me there's nothing in the works. <laughs> so it's going to be a while yet, but go on. Do it, mate. Um, hold up. Final Fantasy IX Remake rumors fueled by Final Fantasy director Yoshi P. Yoshi's Fueling Some 9 remake? What's he saying? Speaking during a uh, PAX East, Yoshi P announced... Oh, my internet is jumping everywhere. By the way, how stable is the internet right now, guys? Is the stream coming through okay? Alright, he announced a Final Fantasy 9 themed extras for the Collector's Edition and Digital Edition for Final Fantasy 14 Expansion Dawn Trail, including the Final Fantasy 9's Arc Summon as a Final Fantasy 14 mount and a wind up, wind up Princess Garnet minion. Uh, what did he say? 
he's truly wagging. You may have noticed, so this is what Yoshi P said, you may have noticed a lot of Final Fantasy IX references here, but the reason is a secret. Yoshi! Yoshi, you cheeky son of a gun, what? Dragonfly. Oh, oh, big dragonfly. Hey! There's a massive dragonfly in the house. That's actually fine. Oh, I just looked up into the lights. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. Nine Remake, it, it, it happening, Captain. It's been cooking and it's been bubbling under the surface for about three years now. We've had, uh, what, are we going to add that as number, I think, five? Was it six of the Nine Remake rumors? Yoshi B jumping in. Riku is my favorite in FF10. I, I do enjoy a bit of Riku, even Pain. Um, I intend to. Finally grew on me. Um, Tactics was amazing. Tactics went so hard. Hud. Tactics was great. F9 Remake could be good, but does the story change through expand more, keep the story the same as OG? I think, Letitia, uh, I've spoken about this, I think keep it the same. Which is such a pivot, right? I'm liking this music, but it's, it's going so hard in my ears. I've got it really, I've got it really loud. Um, so it's such a pivot for me to go, oh, 7 Remake absolutely cannot be a like for like. Totally agreed with Square. From day one, there had to be a trilogy. I saw the sense of it. I saw the logic of it. With nine, I'm completely different. Single part, keep the beats. I feel like when you look at nine's story, uh, because there's a logic to that. Seven and nine, it's story and it's pacing and the structure of it and the components that make up the story and even the world building. Very, very different. Same era of games, but leagues apart different. Um, I actually think nine would fit perfectly into, uh, and what you will have to remember is it will have to be condensed. But that's the thing. I, I want it to be like for like. I feel like nine story is is golden. I think it's a masterpiece. There's a reason why nine is one of the highest consistently reviewed uh, rated Final Fantasies in the series. But if they're going to put it into a single part, it's going to need condensing. I don't know. When I look at Nine Story, I'm like, I think you can pull in the beats into a condensed manner without uh, without losing too much of the overall quality. Um, all right, I'm not going to go any deeper into this news because I'm starting to see starting to see my starting to see motherfuckers putting rebirth balls. I didn't see any. I'm, I'm I've got really good over the years. I've been doing this gig for like seven years. <laughs> I'm really good at being able to just... So it's, like, it's like when I see anything spoiler related to something I don't want to be spoiled and my, my brain just... I, I just phase out. You know? Any of you guys got that talent? Bree does not have that talent. And she got mad spoiled on Seven Rebirth. And I said, how? And she's like, I was scrolling. I was scrolling and I just saw it. And I was like, okay, well, stop. Stop. There, there's something in there. So what happened when you saw that? Did you just go, Ugh. She said, no, I, I stopped. I was like, why did you stop? Why did you stop scrolling? She's like, well, because it, it at first didn't seem like it'd be spoiler and something I'd be interested in. And then, so basically you looked. <laughs> you looked at it. You read it. Like, let's be real. You had that moment to go, but you did not you have to like you have to like shadow phase out I've developed that ta talent yes Sergio you've got to I've certainly had to do you know how many motherfuckers want to spoil me on Final Fantasy stuff there's a lot of spiteful individuals in the world and they, they know that oh this Final Fantasy content creator I go, I'd love to spoil him you can't get me I'm an impenetrable fortress I know how to switch off a hemisphere of my brain. <laughs> you can't get me. Do you know why Cloud is the most popular character in the Final Fantasy franchise? I think personally the reason for that is because Cloud was one of the first true video game protagonists, maybe not the first, but I think one of the most iconic to finally completely shatter the hero trope. You know, up until this point, you know, uh, Nintendo games and you know, even still a lot of the PS1 games. I know the hero trope was still fully in effect. The hero who 
always knows intrinsically what to do, right from wrong, right from wrong. Yes, you may challenge him you know, with some moral quandaries, but he'll always pick the right answer in the end, and he'll always demonstrate pretty virtuous, honourable traits. Cloud was none of that. Cloud was going to be that. In fact, Zack was going to be Cloud, or the personality, essentially, of Zack was going to be Cloud. And Zack is, of course, still... He is the hero trope. He is the classic hero archetype. Um, and what a bold move it was, instead, to pick this totally fractured, arsehole, moody, broody, weak... Like, Cloud is just weak. There's every flaw under the sun. and. That's why I think Cloud really stuck. And it's also why I think, because what you need to remember is when Zack was being developed as a character, uh, that's when, yeah, Final Fantasy VII was in its earliest conceptual phases. And that was still during N64. So, yeah, Seven was just going to have your classic pro tag. But it was in that switching. It was when it came onto the PS1. It's when storytelling evolved. I feel like that was the nexus point where storytelling, uh, yeah, in games, just switched. And I think you know, that happened with heroes. I think villains started coming later, right? I think the richness of villains took maybe like a, until like the PS2. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there were any like real classic PS1 villains breaking the mold. But no, I, I really think the villains changing and being recontextualized as you know, no one's fully a villain in their own world and making villains relatable. That was something that came later. But that's why I always see that that passing of the bust sword, Zack dying and passing saying, you'll be my living legacy. Like, not only is that like the passing of it in the actual game, the actual Final Fantasy VII, but I also feel like it's a symbol of like passing what, what a protagonist is in a story. It was passing that on. I don't know. I, I get real symbolic with it, and I think it's poignant. I've made it very poignant in my head. It was, it was like the passing of a, of a new torch. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, shall we dive in? Curiosity did kill the brie. Yes, it did. Uh, anyway, 65 homies here. Good morning, guys. Hit the like button. I think the algorithm likes it. Or the algorithm's indifferent to it. I don't know. But do it anyway. It might help. So Kate Sith is in my team. Uh, Cole Regent is really freaking cool. The buggy can just do massive jumps off cliffs. All the cakes are so beautiful. I'm home. I'm home. There we go. Let's have a jolly good stream. The physics on this, <laughs> on these grapple hooks, are just so ludicrous. Yeah. Wait, where does this one even lead? Is it over here somewhere? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Oh shit. Where am I? Am I going up here? Oh. Wee. Oh damn. This is really, this is really freaking cool though. Am I just jumping onto this cliff? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Cloud moves off, just... <laughs> He's got some of that... What was old... Oh, what was old Flea Boy in Kingdom Hearts? Where he, like, boings around. Was it Zigbar? Was it Zigbar? Oh, Zigbar's one motherfucker. Oh, man. I want to be thrust back into the KH universe. I miss these characters. Oh yeah, Gilgamesh is he's bugging out. Oh, okay, we're going over there. Ooh, unholy union. Come out, come out wherever you are. And you're a very identified. Yeah, this is crazy. We just feel uh, finished Evangelion yesterday. These kind of look exactly like the angels at the end that Asuka has to fight. I would say Crash was Sony's mascot for PS1. For sure. For sure. Right, exploit enemy's weakness, stagger enemy. 
Who have I got? This isn't the best team, and my team's half dead. Should I heal them, or should I do this low life? <laughs> no, let's give it one go low life. But if I die here, just know uh, that's the reason why. I'm not going to heal. I'm going to take on a nice early morning challenge. All right? No judgments. I'm getting get snapped up. Oh my god, these guys are fucking coming in hard. Man, a real swipe. Swipe and no swiping! Right, so I think he's weak to wind, I'm guessing. Well, uh, Jesus Christ. We're in the poo poo. Come on, get down, pal. Come on. Fuck. That's not good. Mm, not good. I haven't even exploited their weakness. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just fine. That did not go swimmingly. <laughs> Where is your magnifier materia? Who bloody knows? Oh, magnifiers that upgraded assess. What I need to do, I need to put a HP absorption on. Um, yeah, I need to set this up on cloud. What have I already set up? Oh, I have. Okay, it's on arrow. My right, vitality got me assess. Oh man, Tate is definitely not the one here. I don't really know how to use him. Increase. Oh god, his material is sucking. Right. I think I need something. Gravity Kate. Range of linked material. Increase level of linked material. Okay. I don't know what these guys are weak to. Wait, so what is mag? Oh, this is magnifier. Expand range of linked material potency modified by some spirit. Oh. oh, it sloops around. Okay, well, I've got to take that off because it's not actually linked. This. Wait, has he got a megaphone that is a link has a link up? Oh, yeah. Now we've learned iron. Megaphone, let's get back on yellow for sure. Oh, so I could I could try this a little gravity linked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's give Kate a little heal so he's not a total diabolical bastard. Increase luck by twenty percent. Well, what, what what does luck do again? Is luck crits? Let's swap. Okay, let's uh, give him some sort of upgraded salmon salmon. The double elements are always good to have. Lightning and wind upgraded. Let's take that off All right, uh, Moogle draws enemy attention more easily. Damn, I need to be summoning that out pretty, pretty soon. Just use... Uh, Use the Moogle as a decoy and reduce his damage. There we go. So when I go into combat, oh, I need to get the Moogle out pretty early. I'm gonna have a little save. I need to create a new file, I think. Mm. Magnifying is cheating, don't do it, Pez. Time to heal. If I fell here, yes. Uh, he's weak to fire. Don't overdo it. Let's get fire ninjutsu on then. Ah, 
rolled back. That's put me in the poo poos. Oh, oh. <laughs> Heat wave. Come on, Kate. There we go, that dude. Oh, you think Kate are dead? Bob Saget. Oh, Bob Saget. Right, I've got five. Hmm. The Moogle's still fighting with me! Me and Moogle challenge at the end! Oh, fuck you. Can I get Fireball Blade in here? It's gonna be dodgy. Let's go for it. Got 50 seconds. I've got plenty of time. No way, I dodged that. Salamander bitch! Backline commands. Oh! Oh, backline commands. Shit! Shit! No. How does backline commands activate? Am I safe to firework blade? It's bloody good. Let's find out. Let's go. Backline commands activate. I think that's the first the first one I've done. Ah, uh, I was lit. Cloud. Squeaky, squeaky bum. That lit. Who do you prefer more, guys, Chadley or May? I'm kind of hoping we get to the Temple of the Ancients and instead of uh, instead of it being Song, who's slumped up, like bleeding out, it's May and she's just ripping out Chadley's internal wirings. May kills Chadley theory. All right, I think it's time to get the Teefster in. I'm still new on Kate and wanting to play him, so I'll keep 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 old Katey boy about. Right, let's get some heals in there. Hey, introduce him, Tony. Hello, mate. <laughs> hey, he's calling me roaming peasant. I do be roaming. Oh, good man. How are you? Ten out of ten, mate. Most of the fight was knocked out. That's why it was 10 out of 10. Matt, see, May recognized. <clears throat> Yo, this mofo running in with no heals. With a half dead team. Going for the, the challenge. The challenge points. May respected that and gave me a 10 for it. Why don't you guys give me a 10 for it? Hmm? Is there anywhere else I can go around here? Up here? Oh, oh, there's a little spot here. Uh, does this lead anywhere? No, okay. Oh, I think I'm just... Can I summon my buggy up here? Cloud! Hey, you have way out of my way. Alright. Oh, I can't call the buggy. <laughs> Come on. How do I get down? I'll go down, right? Ah, what did I call it? Ted Bundy? No. Um, Roy Cephas? Right. 
Get Aerith clinging on for dear life. <laughs> uh, up we go. Yeah! Oh, it's a bus stop. It's annoying you have to get out to do these. <laughs> uh. I think I might use a hemorrhoids cushion. Did Barrett just trip on the spot. I feel like I saw him. <laughs> I saw him ankle run. Oh, oh, teeth sorting out her bangs. I should I just sit and observe the team. What are they all doing? Can someone do something? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, downward facing dog from red. Kate Seth's got shit on his shoe. <laughs> I like to think how awkward this is, as the whole team is just sitting there watching Cloud just... <laughs> Cloud just having a sit. <laughs> oh, the chokey lays with the app. The chocobo lays down with you. Uh, okay, let's uh, just go bloody do Mog's house. Just a couple of couple of things before we hit on Gaga. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Rounding up all the Mooglets for me? The Mooglets? How many are there? Alright. Oh wait. There's a there's a boing boy? Whee! Okay. <laughs> Probably not the best idea to move Muala first, but it's happening. This is so easy! Easy! Oh, no. That's actually really hard. Muala! Muala, you fucker. Right, Muala's in. Oh. oh, okay. Wow. There's a lot coming down now. Move it, you arsehole. No! This is a lot of shit. Oh, no! I got pom pom powered. Wait, what? Wait, is it three three poms and you're out? Why has Cloud got poms? Right. Stream keeps cutting out for a second or two. Is it? Is that uh, is that happening for you? It's been gone like thirty seconds to me. Lower the difficulty. No. Uh, not getting any dropped frames. Um. That's really annoying if that's if it's still happening. Eee. Has it only just started or is it going on guys? Let me know how bad the issue is. When they are to together movables are hard, yeah, if they're clustered. I don't wanna know. Lower the difficulty. Get out of here. Please tell me none of you ever lowered the difficulty. I'll be so ashamed of you. Ah, oh, moved. Oh, yeah. I've, oh, I've done a real bad job there. Oh, I've done a real bad job. Oh, I've sent the while out to sea. Alright. It's fun. Just move nice and smooth. So, getting all your shit. Alright, there's one. What do these do? These little... Oh. Oh, yeah, you can knock them out and carry them, carry them right? Probably the easier way to do it. Ah, if I go from that direction, he's gonna move. Right, I'm gonna knock this guy out, I think. 
Ah, no! No! I sent him out to sea! Oh, there's no timing. Oh, yeah, I can swim, can't I? Get in there, you bum. Wait, is Mosh still going? Mosh sent an attack at me! What the fuck? Alright, alright. I'm making it happen. For some reason, I always thought I was racing against the clock. But, obviously not. Alright, Luala needs to get... Tornado. Actually, what's the tornado you in here? You shit. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, Cloud is so <laughs> so slow. Why are you running like that, Cloud? <laughs> oh, that. Okay, so the bigger tornadoes knock them out for longer, right? Last one. No! Oh, one bomb. It's fine for me now. Uh, if I'd load the difficult for Mog, I'd be ashamed of myself. I know. Oh. Even after Mog was fully grown, he still struggled to fly, but he never gave up. He kept on practicing, undeterred. Eventually, Mag noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her power to support him. As time passed, the two became closer and closer until one day... They <laughs> fucked. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Oh. Well, more or less. Stream has stopped altogether. Ah. Oh, this is frustrating. Isn't it frustrating? I thought, uh... I thought we fixed it with the uh, the cable. It's weird, because, I, I mean, I would usually get notifications. I'm not getting anything. Is the stream down, hombres? Uh, this is Bali, Indonesia, sometimes. Uh, sometimes shit like this just happens. Not much I can do, but it's alright, I'll be uh, I'll be off to Australia in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna be on that sweet fiber rock tick. Never having a stream uh, stream is good on my own stream is fine. Oh. It's working, okay, okay. Cool. <clears throat> the mod side quests are easily the worst. I don't mind them. Okay. Over here. I don't know, I've got any shit I can buy. Well, I can't shop to Mark's Contain, can I? I can only buy what, how many bloody coins you've given me! Alright, um... What's this? Vi vibro Detector. Detecting Subterranean Tremors? Oh, I wonder what does that do? Oh, HP up earrings. I mean, that shit is, that shit is pretty good. Allows you to use the highest level of healing materia. Oh! Oh! That's pretty nice, actually. Get one of those. And then we'll just spend the rest of our points on failures. Yeah, that do. Nice. Feel free to drop by any time. Alright. Nice. I also haven't really been doing any transmuting for a while. Probably have. Oh my god, I've got so much I can make! <laughs> uh, bedded with materia fragments? I was gonna make these. See if I can get to level 10. Wait, why well, can't I make crucibles? Planets. Splendor. Ah, oh, I need planet splendors. Uh, make a gold needle, that should get me. Yeah. Wait, you can now make a mist mega potion. Ooh. 
<laughs> okay, very cool. Now I've got a lot of juicy equipment now and I've not been putting it on. I'm still running speed. <laughs> speed demon D chain. Where are the new juicy things I just made? HP up on for Cloud, maybe. I don't want to give Cloud an eel. Ah, maybe give him strength. Clipo charm. Yeah, I want that. What's this whistly scarf doing? Ah. Slight ATB at the start. Mm. Maybe make Tifa a bit a bit tankier. Power risk guards. They suck, right? 5%. Increase strength and magic power by 5%. Space Ranger Service Medal. Yeah, go on, man. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I want that on red. What do I? No. Maybe? Slightly... <laughs> How exactly would Red wear these? Slightly increase the limit gauge charge rate upon staggering a film. Alright. Woo! Hell Reaver! Yeah! <laughs> no! Thank you, Mal. Let's celebrate their fifth super on a live stream. Who were the other four? Some secret is you gave Schmeckles to. Thank you so much, Mal. You're a legend. What what gift am I gonna get? Oh yeah, the old Scrooge McDuck. Remember that everything in Australia wants to try to kill you. See, Bree. <laughs> Grants a small chance to take zero damage when afflicted by a detrimental status effect. That's curious. What a weird badge. And how small is the chance? <laughs> that could... I'm going to just put it on, see what happens. So yeah, Bree straight up was actually worried about it. Um, the murdering animals of Australia. To the point it was making her not so enthused to go. Let me put the Space Ranger on her. So I went into the statistics. I went into the statistics of the kill rate of animals. <laughs> this crazy low, guys. Crazy low. To the point where, I don't know, I'm dubious about it. It's so low. Because apparently in 10 years there's only been 260 wildlife related deaths. In 10 years! I was like, what the fuck? And yeah, I was breaking it down. MP up. For sure we should be... Uh, I mean, I've already got MP up on Aerith. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of juice. I need to be levelling. Uh, yeah, I think half of those, half of those 260 were to dogs and horses. So nothing even exotic to Australia. Some were kangaroos, but a small amount. I think that was next. And then I think you had like their poisonous insects and stuff. They were on par, more or less, with goats. I don't know how anyone's ever died to a goat, but it has happened. It's happened. Maybe guarding for Barrett, I don't know. Has everyone got? Oh, there's a slot here. Wait, I just took that off. Uh, wait. This is confusing. Should I use a poison guess? How does this reduce debuff duration? So yeah, he'd be <laughs> he'd be immune to poison. It's <laughs> warding material seems like absolute crap. Really, I don't know. I don't know, man. Bobius, Bobius, binding material. You sleep. Got the time going. Uh, 
Got innovation going on youth, youthster, the youthmus meister. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Red doesn't need MP. I don't need. I'll just chuck in your shit on. Let's get that wind material. Why not? Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Divers! Woo! Oh, and Kazuya! Kazuya just hopped up. Kazuya's part of the crew! Yo, thank you, mate! You're the little, you're the little, 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 little teeth of badge. Yo, Kazuya legend. I uh, actually saw a dog sit um, back in Kuala Lumpur and. I was kind of tempted to take it because there's this particular Kuala Lumpur dish I've been searching for, me and Ginge. We've been searching for it high and low. It's this particular kind of butter chicken. Just can't get it anywhere else. And I was like, maybe we should go back there, go go meet up with old Uncle Hazuya again. Yeah, you're now an uncle as well, man. <laughs> no versus <laughs> Instead of monkeys, kangaroos. See, I, I think I could handle a kangaroo. A monkey, on the other hand, like, they're crazy. You know, they're fast, they're crazy. You don't really... Like, kangaroos, they're just obvious, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm basing that purely off that video of that guy who's... His kangaroo, his dog is in a headlock by a kangaroo, and he just goes up and he just punches it on the jaw. The kangaroo's just like, and doesn't do nothing. That's how I'm picturing it. The probable truth is they would instantly disembowel me with their claws. Yeah, kangaroos are jacked as hell. <laughs> I can see them rippling vascular muscles. Ugh. I'm hyped here, Pez here, the Gongaga theme. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, 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 we head in, we head in. You ever have chicken in, uh, pain and chicken in Singapore? I didn't, I've been to Singapore twice. I can't remember why I ate, but don't think it was anything unique to Singapore. Singapore's such a cool place, man. Right. I think we are... The, got the old Republican house. Got a few bits here. So look, am I allowed to press on to Gongaga? Or am I going to be missing some... Ah, the birdie chips over here. Okay, I'll quickly get that. Well, obviously I can... Stick it in the sidey stuff if Gongaga is that is it kind of a point of no return? Uh, section probably is right. Uh. Oh, wait, what was that? You need to choke. I need a chocobo to be able to get the trans <laughs> the transmitter chip. I have no chocobo. Fuck. Right, so there's obviously all of this up here. Alright, let me call the buggy and mosey up here. Can I ride the buggy here? Bugger. Yeah, despite the one video, don't fuck with kangas. I don't know. I feel like. Kangaroos will respect you more if you're drunk. If you're sober, then they'll go for you. But aren't there like a ludicrous number of kangaroos in uh, Australia? They're more or less so prolific, they're like a pest. I don't understand why Australians aren't getting wrecked all the time. The only thing I can collate it's because Australians are drunk. 
Kangaroos must, uh, they must respect that. Alright, uh, I do the Proto Relic stuff first. Coral Proto Relic can't be finished until chapter 12. Okay. Well, we've got a little section over here we've not explored. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, I want to follow this through with old Gilgate. Oh. I'm gonna run him over. I'm gonna run him over. Go! Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> We've got a fight out here somewhere. Oh no, no, no! Now. Rare landworm variant identified. Commencing landworms. Landworms. Their eyes having long since atrophied. These creatures rely on their sense of smell to hunt. Their digestive okay. system has also deteriorated. Feed an enemy without or getting swallowed. I... Rocks to break down food. I don't think that's gonna happen. Right, Where's my core team right now? Can I put Tifa in? Alright, let's just do it. Stagger, don't get swallowed, defeat the enemies. I think they tried to swallow pretty early. Sneak attack, no, they do that pretty early. Right, weak to ice, nice. Should be fine over here. Keep it together. Alright, here comes the swallow. Whoa. Uh -huh. Okay. Easy, easy. Get here, while up. Oh no, that's a swallow. No, dude, that, that sucks so much ass when it, it when the NPC gets swollen. Like that shit ain't on me, man. That ain't on me. There we go. Roll of the dice. I should just restart. Well, might as well get the XP, right? Ice Materia has improved. Yes, I bloody tried, mate. <laughs> yeah, man, the nom noms. I'm gonna get noshed off every time. I swear. Rare Funny, Aussie Lord, we went once went to. Is that war? We won. <laughs> we once, once went to war with the emus and we lost. Is this real? I need. Uh, I need more context. Great did I miss your schmeckles? I did, to Gongaga. Yeah, we will go. We will go. Hell yeah! I got myself dumped again. Who's got the upgraded material? Huh? You. <laughs> I've been I've been mocking Ginger a lot lately because if there's any talks about creatures or animals, he shows up. I've been calling him Ginger Attenborough. He's Ginger May, and he's just come slinking out of his room. You talking about the Great Emu War? It's actually Great Emu War. I have no idea. Tell me the fucking story. It was the emu. There were so many emus in Australia. It was destroying crops. Yeah. And they put it in it was military operating like nineteen the nineteen thirties. They deployed the military. The military like they just wouldn't have been because there were so many emus just destroying people's crops. I think they did. I think they can. They can start. I'm literally just picturing like Forrest Gump, sort of Vietnam, 
running fucking Lieutenant Dan out as the emus are just fucking yeah. jumping through the woods and shit. Yeah. So, so, so what, they were just going and... Shooting down, you know, they just think they definitely managed to do it, but they lost. So the emus won? Yeah. I've literally I've asked the question hasn't Australia really ever properly got involved in a war they'll just be chilling out there I mean yeah they they sent troops to world war yeah but like their own war world war don't count everyone was involved in that shit but their own war so the only war that they had kind of by themselves did you have one with New Zealand I don't know did the Japanese get spicy with you? Probably. Who has Australia had wars with other than the emus and they lost? <laughs> oh, that's a hilarious story. I've never heard it. I think it's listed on Wikipedia. Is it? As a um, great war. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not my house. Hold on, hold on. It's not listed on I'm Wikipedia sure as a great war. list of wars on Wikipedia. It can't be called up. a great war. You could, I mean, even calling it a war is a stretch, but to say the great war. Wait, there's a movie, 1932. <laughs> the Emu War or Great Emu War. Oh. <laughs> uh, was a uh, nuisance wildlife management and military operation, 1932. Camping district, the unsuccessful attempts to curb population. Why don't you just eat them? Do they not taste good? Employed Royal Australian artillery, uh, artillery soldiers armed with Lewis guns. <laughs> That's wild. Right. Oh, the two loose guns, 10,000 rounds of ammunition. Wait, what is it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure on Wikipedia, on the list of, list of wars, it comes up with, like, who won it. And I'm sure I remember seeing it was, like, emus. <laughs> oh, my God. The emus even outsmarted them. On the 2nd of <laughs> November, the soldiers travelled to Campion, where some 50 emus were sighted. 50? <laughs> As the birds were out of range of the guns, the local settlers attempted to herd the emus into an ambush, but the birds split off into small groups, running so that they were difficult to target. Yeah. <laughs> My God, the emus literally strategized. Nevertheless, while the first fusillade of the machine guns was ineffective due to the second range, a second round of gunfire was able to kill a number of the birds. But later the same day, a small flock was encountered and perhaps a dozen birds were killed. Only a dozen? Is this real? I guess this is real. Yeah. If there's only 50 emus, that doesn't seem like that's hard to take out. I feel like I could go and pop 50 emus. But here you have them deploying the military. It's a place more than 50. This is a specific... <laughs> so this is like the EMU version of like 300. This bit, this the next significant best. event, okay, was on the 4th of November. Meredith had established an ambush near a local dam, and more than a thousand EMUs were spotted heading towards their position. This time the gunners waited in a person in close proximity before opening fire. The gun jammed after only 12... <laughs> <laughs> And the remains scattered before any more could be shot. Yeah. That's the great emu war for you. So basically, basically, the two major campaigns, out of 1,050 emus, they were only able to kill 24. <laughs> right. Was there another? Is there a statistic of how many died? I like oh, know, it sounds like the emus, yeah, the emus won. The jams gun, <laughs> the guns jammed after 12, holy shit. Um, after the withdrawal, wait, there was a withdrawal? Hold up. In the days following, Meredith chose to move further south, 
were moved further south where the birds were reported to be fairly tame, but there was only limited success in spite of his efforts. Dude, who is this guy? He needs to be fired. He needs to read the bottom, the bottom All right. By the fourth day of the campaign, army observers noted that each pack seems to now have its own leader. <laughs> a big black plumed bird which stands fully six feet high and keeps watch while his mates carry out their work of destruction and warns them of our approach. <laughs> I can just picture this Meredith guy, like his dad's like a big military dude and he's just been, yeah. you know, given the silver spoon position and there he is in his tent fucking just necking down Adderall his nerves shaken just it's just they know me. they've assigned leaders oh, no, no, no. I've got to go through it Jim. stop trying to point point me ahead we're going through the whole war now I'm in so yeah they warned them of our approach and at one stage Meredith went so far as to mount one of the guns on a truck a move that proved to be ineffective as the truck was unable to gain on the birds and the ride was so, so rough that the gunner was unable to fire any shots. By 8th November, six days after the first engagement, 2,500 rounds of ammunition had been fired, but the number of birds killed is uncertain. One estimates it was only 50. <laughs> 2,500 rounds shot. <laughs> So that's a hit rate of what? What's 50 as a percentage of 2,500? Oh, that's tough maths. What is that, like 2%? There's 2%. <laughs> Only 2% of their, their bullets actually hit. <laughs> but the other accounts range from 200 to 500. Those are the ones that Meredith made up yeah. because he wanted to keep his job. Um Summarising the calls, uh, uh, ortholo- what is that? Ornithologist? Ornithologist Ornithologist commented, the machine gunner's dreams of point-blank fire into a serried mass of emus, uh, emus were soon disappointed. The emu command had evidently ordered guerrilla tactics, and his unwieldy <laughs> army soon split up into innumerable small units that made use of the military equipment uneconomic. A crestfallen field force therefore withdrew from the battle after about a month. Mm. And on the 8th of November, in the Australian House of Representatives, discussing the operation following the negative coverage of the events in local media, they included claims that only a few emus had died. Pierce withdrew the military personnel, and after the withdrawal, Major Meredith, old fucking Admiral Shaken Meredith, the black and demons, they know, they know, they're strategizing, I can't beat them. Um, uh, he compared, Meredith compared the emus to the Zulus <laughs> and commented on the striking maneuverability of the emus, even while badly wounded. If we had a military division with the bullet carrying capacity of these bir- birds, it would face any army in the world. They can face machine guns with the invulnerability of tanks. They are like Zulus, whom even dumb, dumb bullets could not stop. Yeah. <laughs> so Meredith, after getting wrecked, he was like, Respect. Yeah. Heaven forbid, if emus should ever learn the ability to be able to fire machine guns, this would be a force the world could not reckon with. This is why nobody invades Australia. Because you've got wildlife, which is pretty more terrifying than the humans. Because it's not truly run by Australians. Kangaroos and emus. The emus run it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was chuckling. <laughs> um, I think the chat's frozen. Oh, no. Hombres! All right. Once an emu bit me at a state fair. Holy shit. Oh, God. (laughs) Is my chat working? Ah. Right. Uh, Volume's down. Hello, little spark. Good to see you, mate. Ah, my chat. My chat's all wafty, and also, so now is my volume. It's dead. 
Let me just restart my capture card. Mm. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> I've got to tell Bree about this this event. Right, I'm gonna try gravity. Let's try a little gravity magic! Oh, you went under. Oh, I've got to swallow shitty shitty penis. Oh god. Right, that, that one was definitely on me. Got myself sneaked attack out the opening again. Come on! Just make it happen! Right. I'll try gravity now. Immune. It's immune to gravity. That's great. That's grand. Right, why don't I have enough? Oh, you need two uh, ATB slots for Blizzarga. Does that make Blizzarga worth it? Feels like Blizzarga would be better if that's the condition. Right. Evade, evade! The swallow tracked me! The swallow tracked! It's preempting my movements. Oh my god, every time. Come on. I just need to take. How's the uh, volume for you guys? It's kind of acting a bit wafty for me. Right. Dodge. I did it. I did the dodge. Right. Maybe the Blizzarga. I don't know if it's worth 2 ATB or just like do double Blizzara. And I suppose price wise it's probably worth it. Come on, come on, Kate. I'm gonna do a nice hard hitting fortune telling attack. There we go, got it done. Volume's good. It cuts out a bit here and there. Yeah, I'm getting some like weird, weird cuttage. Right, let me. Yo, 97 hombres in the house. Hello, hello everyone. Hit the like button. Okay. Let's go hit this remnant wave tower. All right. Gonna hit this remnant wave and then we are moseying to Gongaga. Come for this tower. Unless, of course, the tower reveals to me a Fort Condor board. Ah. Swipe and no swipe in. Oh, ah! Oh, fortune tellers here. Come on, Jim. Yeah. It's listed in all the wars. Man, that's a lot of wars. Colum Whoa! Colombia and Peru had a war? Wait, what is Crazy Fakir's Rebellion? Who's, who's crazy? The King of Afghanistan. The King of Afghanistan. King of Afghanistan versus, of course, Crazy Fakir. Crazy Fakir? Did Crazy Fakir win? I'm just imagining an Afghan version of Roche. Oh, Crazy Fakir. What, Crazy Fakir ran? Well, then he's not that crazy, is he? He's dead abroad, and then he's allowed to return to the shoots of the park. <laughs> Find me another funny war, Ginge. Let's have a slurp on your vape, Ginge. 
Nan, nan, nan. Cheeky. Can I get up here? Right, so there's a, there's a climbing point there. Right, I need to pop out this chat so I can see your beautiful, your beautiful comments. Uh, actually, uh, take on restream. Let's see. Who's here? Who's here? Tibbly tap in the chat for me, guys. Is it working? Scott's just joined. Yay! Scott Allison's here. Boy! How you doing, mate? Should I be? Uh, I still haven't done this. Follow the uh, the cactus laser eyes thing. God, I love a nice live stream conduit. It's very satisfying. Very pretty. Yeah, just crushed. Beat the game tonight. Oh, Scott Allison as well. You're also using that word, crushed. You're like the fourth person that said that now. Just finished the game and I, I've had a combination of broken, crushed. Um, I think I saw one crestfallen. Cloud, I've ascertained the whereabouts of the sovereign of all Tonberries, the Tonberry King. Now is Tonberry our King? to learn his royal secrets. Rumor has Tonberry it that this king, king? Wears the most beautiful crown. Why not take this opportunity to relieve him of it? Oh my god! I'm not going to go and gag until I do the Tom Breaking. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Alright, so that's uh, that's locked in. Right, there was a little climbing point, but let's just check. Got any juices around here? No? Okay. Ow. Oh. Why did you put this part behind? There's nothing, no chest. Not even an orb of materia. <clears throat> but okay, Scott Allison, I mean, same to everyone else. So, no, so now you finish the game. Give me your scores. But it needs to be a more dynamic range than 10. Out of 69, please. That's a more versatile score. Uh, score selection. So I can't obtain the transmute chip. Again, I can't do that, can I, without a chunker bow? I don't know where you get, <gasps> get the uh, chunkies in this area, but to hell if I know. Can I climb that? Is that climb? There was a pig war. Hold on, let me, let me guess who was involved in the pig war. Uh, is it a big country or a small country? Big countries. Yeah, two, three big countries. Two big countries were in the pig war. Yeah, military-wise, like, pretty big. Like, was pretty big. Was it Americans and Canada? Close. Close? Yeah. Is it South America? America and another. America and... Greenland? Who else is near to? Oh, the Americans and Brits! Huh? Yeah. Wait, it forced a conflict between us and the Americans? It's because it's what? I can't hear you. Because it's sorted pig. A pig was killed and it started a war. They're Wait, 80 people was killed, or many people? So there was a slaughtered swine, and then a war started between us and America. <laughs> Audio skipping a little bit. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm just going to try disconnecting the headphones, because I'm using Gingies. But I'm just going to take them out. Yeah. I need to charge my AirPods, but... 
Wait, give me, give me the story, Ginge. The an American farmer gone down a British-owned black ball after he discovered the animal watching through his potato patch. An ensuing argument over the dead hog increased tension between two groups of settlers, and basically led to the Americans. Yeah, the Americans reported to the, the incident to the military U.S. Yeah, the U.S. Army. Yeah. And dispatched Captain George Pickett. Later, Confederate, Confederate during the Civil War. Are you able to hear? Are you able to hear, Ginge guys? I don't want to have to repeat the beats of this Great Pig War. Shuffle a bit close, but but basically, in case you didn't hear that, a farmer killed a black British. One one British farmer. An American farmer killed a black British boar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and basically led to them reporting it to the U.S. Army. Um, and then settlers started disputing to San Juan with a small complement of troops. Yeah. Then Were any shots fired? Go on. So Captain Pickett was... Only shot, only shot, only shot, only killed one pig, that was it. Right, right okay. Only shot anyone really else shit. Okay, okay. Um, Pickett up the ante by declaring the whole island of San Juan US property, and the British responded by sending a fleet of heavily armed naval vessels to the coastline. <laughs> well, maybe there wasn't actually war, but it was basically a massive standoff because of this pig that was killed. They eventually negotiated a deal. I don't think that. they can hear you that clearly, Gingy. But yeah, I think they can hear the beats. We we'll have to just sit here if you're going to tell us about these wars. I want, I want to know about as many as we can. That's my headphones. What do you mean? What have I done? You don't put them back right. Oh. Stop yelling at me. You got me to that horse. I'm, I'm going to fight a Tombury king. So what did we send the Brits? We sent a bunch of warships. Yeah, heavily armed naval vessels <laughs> to the island of San Juan. Um, all over a pig yeah lol it, the situation remi- oh. remained on a knife edge for several agonising weeks the two nations were finally negotiated to allowing for a joint military upgrade op- occupation of San Juan ending the pig war as a brother's stalemate safe for an un- unfortunate halt. <laughs> uh, let's go alright alright this is really cool. They've built like a little little bit of ruins. You know what a Tombri is, right, Ginge? Yeah. So I've got a Tombri king, mate. He's going to have a crown. Look, they've built him a little empire. Oh, Tifa, that was cool, the way that Tifa just popped up. He's going to be in here, isn't he? Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Tombry King. Put your bets in nice and early, guys. Heavy lies the crown. Right, we're about to... What's it called when you uh, kill a king? Is it regicide? I think it's regicide. We're going to commit regicide. Wipe or no wipe, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Cloud, it appears that you've arrived at the lair of the Tonberry King. That crown belongs on a far statelier head than his. Namely, a quick, a quick steal. Is he I worth a steal? All right, he's worth a steal. Yeah. Uh, okay. What team do I want for this? You know what? It's a Tonberry King, man. I'm going to give him the honor of a proper fight. I bring out the best. The best team I got. I think I took steel off you, Fee. I said a pro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, I should probably take up. Um, I don't need this much HP for you, you've stirred. I know, but you don't really need um, elemental material on it either. And Ninjutsu is more than enough. So what's great about Yuffie, it doesn't matter what they're weak to, Yuffie's going to have the element. I don't think I've got heals, but I don't, I'm not going to need to heal. Sombri King's going to be a bitch. You know, this is a pretty daunting arena though. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where are you, Tombri King? Hello? Oh, engage enemy. Okay.
in the middle of that. He's gonna mess me up. Yeah, man. You're going to kill. Royal treatment. What is that? What? What? Put the whole arena into smoke. Ooh! the assess. Right, a giant told me that there's a remote part of Cold Desert. It's elegant and noble prince has earned the title of king, as well as the gorgeous crown now adorned in its head. Approaches it, targets majestically, brandishing its knife and lantern with fittingly royal flair. Alright, so inflict enough damage when its attack miss will pressure it. When pressured, will drop its pristine crown, leaving it All right, vulnerable to being Oh, leaving the item vulnerable to being stolen! Its special attack renders the target incapacitated and able to be revived. Alright, okay. But when the crown's down, then I've got to do still. Oh, oh no, oh no. I don't know if a barrier is going to be worth much here. Let's get some bridle going. Right. Can I slow him? So he's not immune to anything. So probably I'm going to try a slow for once. Oh, he is, he's slowed. Sick. Call for friends. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <gasps> he's bringing down tins. Oh, he just got bolt. Alright, Doom and Blue. Popping mad. Oh, bonk. <laughs> so, I mean, that should have pressed him, right? I evaded him. Did I put a haste on? I'll get on Tifa. Oh. Okay, let's get some focus. Cloud. Oh, I'm supposed to be stealing. Right, still. Still. Right. Yeah. Still. Got it. <laughs> oh, bolts. Right, I haven't seen how the consent yet, or how Sion. Here we go, it's gonna be juicy. Boom. Yeah! Oh. 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 Bang! Bang! <laughs> yeah! Yuki is crouching out. <laughs> Look. Yay. That was a that was a Yuki Cloud moment. I'm lit. You did it, Cloud! I now dub thee the new king of the So what happens if you don't steal? By analyzing the king's biometrics, we can better understand Tonberry's social structures. Our research proceeds a would, would you not be able to finish Cloud. the fight if you don't steal? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that Tobri King was uh It was a walk in the park. Add him. Add him. Very nice, very nice. Alright. Uh are we ready for Gungaga guys? I feel like we are. I know. I'm, I'm so confused by this uh, this world intel. Is this the cactus thing? I mean, that's the birdhouse. 
I can't do these without the chokies. I need chocobos to be able to do it. Where do I go get chokies from? I'm still confused by the. I know this this world intel over here. Was so this just supposed to shine the chokey statue at the door? It was as simple as that. Uh, chokey, to uh, cactua. One more crazy war. I want one more crazy war. The war of the stray dog. The war of the stray dog. Okay, go for it. Apparently, in the 20th century, a dog inadvertently projects him. Project. I'm, I'm it, projecting. <laughs> inadvertently triggered an international crisis. It's in the culmination of a long period of hostility between Greece and Bulgaria, which had been at odds since the Second Balkan War in the 1910s. Tensions finally boiled over in October 1925 when a Greek soldier was shot after allegedly crossing the border into Bulgaria while chasing his runaway dog. The shooting became a rallying cry for the Greeks who soon after invaded Bulgaria and occupied several villages. Because one guy chased dog, his dog. I chased his dog over to Bulgaria and he got shot for it because they thought he was invading. <laughs> um, so the Greeks then yeah, okay. invaded Bulgaria and occupied several villages. They were even set to commence shelling into in the, to the city of Petri. When the League of Nations shelling, Jesus. Yeah. When the League of Nations finally intervened and condemned the attack, an interna international committee later negotiated a ceasefire between the two nations, but not before the misunderstanding had resulted in the deaths of some 50 people because a dog ran over the bridge. 50 people. Yeah. What the hell? Don't overdo it. Okay, right, so what am I supposed to do with this cat thing? I, I, I keep activating these cat bars. Am I just murdering them? Is this what the world intel is? Come on, Tifa. Alright. So am I just cat while hunting? Is that it? Most countries would do that. I don't know if they would now. I don't. I don't think the policy currently, <laughs> with somebody trying to illegally cross a border, is to open fire. I know there's a lot of people who thinks that that that, that, really that should be the policy, but that's if they're trying to leave. <laughs> they shoot me. Yeah. And probably if you're trying to enter, but. Go to where the light is shining. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I supposed to be climbing up the cliff? Yeah, so it's definitely up the cliff. Is there a, is there a climbing point or. How doth one get up here. So it's definitely on top of here. Ah, is this it? Ah, I think I can enter from around here. Maybe? Oh yeah, there's a ladder there. Sweet. Can I just hop, hop over the wall? Aye. There should be a drivable path for going up there, yeah? Alright. Oh, what, round here? Up here and round here. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 I get it. Silly pickle, I needed to look. I like that it's auto picking up stuff for me. That's yummy. Hey. Aha! Here is the part. Nice. Alright. 
So I'm murdering, yeah, I'm murdering cactuars. That's that's the gig right now. No, get off me. Can you hear me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to do my Sweden. Get down. Little evasive boys. There we go. One's down. Get him. Woo. Right. Nice. I can't see how Cact was. Uh, I've got to kill characters to get through that little door. Uh, some in, some in proto relic, some in. Uh. Oh, oh. Did he cook the tombri? Of course I did. Who do you think I am? Some sort of wiping noob? <laughs> If I started to become a chronic wiper, I would expect all of you to unsubscribe in a heartbeat. You guys are here for skill, big, heavy pro plays. If I stop delivering that, why would you guys still be watching? I am the streamer that gets it done. Anything further up here? Oh, no. Onwards! Oh, oh wait! Oh, there's some cactuals down there. Get them! <laughs> Get up the little fox! <laughs> Come on! Hit Cloud! <laughs> oh, I've got charged. I feel like the, the, the damage on these should be just ludicrously high and disgusting for the lols. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We wouldn't unsubscribe, we would heckle you. Ooh! Ooh! What is this, then? Back to our rock. Stand before the rock and raise the Cactuar statue. Oh boy. Oh, oh, <laughs> Cactuar statue with one lost. Wait, are there more of them? Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Am I about to get my one for mad damage Cactuar? I've been poisoned! I've been poisoned! Oh, Cloud's gonna be done for. Oh. Come on, kill it, the music's going. <laughs> Alright, what now? Here goes. Here goes. <laughs> Hello? I got music. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> Don't laugh, Red. Help. Oh. Tifa is not impressed. There's go. more rocks! Oh my god, there's more of them! Oh no, return to the modular, modular reactor and unseal the door. This door? Nice, nice. I'm using a lot of my cushions, man. I've only got four precious cushions left! Tifa in the back holding in her laughter. Oh no, I I, I thought Tifa was intentionally not looking because it would be shattering any attraction she had towards Cloud, seeing him in that derpy state. You know Yuffie's gonna get her comeuppance. Uh, maybe right now? Please, please have a full condor board inside, waiting for me. What is this? Adjust lighting. Oh god, here we go. Where are we going? What's down here? I hear... I hear cactuars. Hello? Oh, they're adorable! What are they saying? You know? To them, the proto relic is the treasure of the sands, <laughs> it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. <laughs> Wait, Red speaks Cactuar? Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> Moreover, they are duty bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Oh, Wonder God. That is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? It's the goblin king kid thing. Name's G. Kid G. Kid G. I look after these cactuars. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait, you can talk? Hey! <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. What the hell? He does have a point. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. Are we gonna become the Cactuar Messiah? If you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove this this kid G goblin thing has no right being this detailed. <laughs> look how detailed this thing. Look at his gloves. Look at the, the, the look at the intricacy, the cracks, the, the texture. <laughs> Wait, has he got has he got grills on those? He's got little sharp teeth. Look at the first. Look at the fabric of his beanie. Where'd they all come from? He's more detailed than Cloud. And now your trial. Take Is down it? the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh my oh, god. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Yuffie, straight up. Me? <laughs> oh, it's a Yuffie quest. The test your might gets an army of spinny speedsters. Race against the clock. I'm within the time limit. These character feet will add more, add to your score. Reach the score when time runs out. Okay. Okay. Cat to what a crush. What do you think, what ranking we're going to get, guys? <clears throat> the guess. Not the best with Yuffie. I need 2,500 for rank 3. <laughs> Look 
They don't disrespect the kid G. I, 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 I will disrespect him. Oh, look at the detail of him. I mean, I did hear that half, or is it half or over half of Cloud's polygons is just in his head. Just his hair alone. So his body and his face, not so much. I think Kid G has more. Look! Look at him! You then will get a rank two. Now I'm bringing home the three, baby. Right. Oh no, that's going to lose me a lot of time. <laughs> Not bad. That's gone pretty good so far. Where are the others? Alright, so then we've got little scoreboards on them. I need to be saving it for the big ones. Oh, what do I need? What do I need? We need to just low point us. I need to finish him. Our blind side is definitely the better, I feel. Oh, I can pull them all in with Windstorm. <laughs> no! Come on. Come on! Who about you? Ah. Oh. oh my god, 2500 must be so hard to get! No, my dude, this is crazy! What's that one running? The hundred pointer. Huh, <laughs> Nani? I thought I was killing it. What? 1700. What the hell? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the strat. The windstorm pulls them in and then blindside to finish them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Great react. It's kind of fun though. So it's kind of annoying. It's a lot of. Where? What? What? Right, I'm a year old. I just did the minimum and moved on. Thank you, Sir Rie. I know. Do I move on? Of course, I ain't gonna move on. Oh. Right. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm impressed. Do we qualify? Over the proto relic then. Huh? Never heard anyone call it that before, but I'm a goblin of my word. So here, straight up. Nice, nice. And so, as promised, your piece of the prize. Piece? 
We want the whole thing, Shrimp. Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. Shrimp. So your thing is that more trials await, and that yours truly will be your guide. See you next time. Bye, bye, bye kid J. What an unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. <laughs> kid J seems like a chill dude. He's not. He's not. Goblin. Not to mention the mysterious giant of the sands and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. I Wild Fantasy Seven Rebirth. <laughs> I've already picked up another signal It's so from much more ridiculous and zany than I imagined it would be. Head for modular reactor two. Hey, how many of these mini reactors are there anyway? Several. I was these expecting a bit of dirt, but the desert, not this much. And not even by heart. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Uh huh. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by the Cactuars, and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt Shinra could produce anything half as resilient as this combination of sand and Cactuar nectar. So this is a whole thing as well? Fucking hell! <laughs> right, when I thought of Seven Rebirth, I kind of thought, okay, yeah, we're going to start going into the heavy stuff. You know, Nightmare Begins themes, uh, the, the the branching out of Sephiroth's goals, and we're going to see what horrible, terrible, tumultuous shit they're going to do to Zack. How hard they're going to kick the puppy. So I was picturing it. I was not picturing this. All of this. <laughs> I love it though. I love it. 69 out of 69. I thought about it more. It's legit perfect, this game. My dude, you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that, Scott Allison. Because if you do, that means you don't have any semblance of objectivity. Because remember, a perfect, a perfect 10 out of 10 means that there's not a single discernible fault with the game. Nothing. Nothing. There wasn't a single part of the game where the texture resolution dipped. There wasn't a single part of the game where the pacing just eased up or was a bit slow. Or there wasn't a single quest that was a little bit tedious or grindy. No, 10 out of 10 means it was fucking flawless start to finish. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to give this one more go. I, I, have any of you guys got 2,500 on this? It seems brutally hard. I feel like if I use wind... Come out harder, faster, okay? I've already probably wasted too much time, even just there. I can already tell I've lost way too much time. Bad opening. Just need to gap close in fast. Oh, I did that to the wrong side. How far away can Windstorm actually hit? So if Windstorm brings them to you, I'll launch them towards you. Well, where's more cat claws? Come on, cat claws! These like little slams I also think are pretty good. Right. Where are they? Ah, oh, so Windstorm has a radius, right, okay. It's a radius around Yuffie, it's not a it's not a drop. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> this seems like this is going to be pretty fucking, fucking difficult. Right. Windstorm. And blind side. Go, go fast! A hundred pointers. Oh, oh, killed them all straight away. Oh, shit, that was ludicrous. No, that's not good. This is rough. No, not enough. I would score minus 250. Score minus 250. Okay. Shit. Those hits, they can't be allowed. Oh my god. Back to a rush. Put it. Right, quick clear on those. Oh, there's a couple more. Oh, come on! I'll oh, miss. You've got to avoid. Avoid those. Build up points for the next pack. Oh, come on. Die. Uh, I'm kind of slowing up. That was good. Watch the explosion. These are the dudes that are here to muck up your score. I keep hitting them with bad attacks though. Maybe should have had some sort of ninjutsu on by now. Nah. No, 250 gone again. Dudes, this is... 
What's the fastest way to kill these fuckers? Oh, I like that, kind of. <laughs> so they all have different freaking weaknesses and shit. Hit again! Yo, this is this is wild use. You've got to master what every cat's are weak to. You be on it! Holy shit! What is this challenge? Square Enix, man. What have you done? What have they made here? I ain't getting this. Rebrew. Hi. Yeah. Cactuars are tormenting me. Have you managed to get rank three on this Cactuar game? Fuck that. You didn't do it. With Yuffie, it's easy. You have done it. Oh, so you're you're on the are you on the first one then? I'm trying to get the highest rank, twenty five hundred. Oh, you can do. It. Is this the first one? You mm -hmm. can do it. Oh, it's... Just, just don't expect to do it any other time than this one. Say hello, Bree. Hey. Hi, hi, Bree. Are you having a good day so far? Huh? Having a good day so far? Actually, it's been a pretty decent day. Yeah. yeah. Ginger was teaching us about funny wars. The great, oh, the great emu war of Australia, which the Australians lost. Australia is so dumb. Us, don't us Brits, it. and uh, you Americans, we went to war. Over a pig. That's understandable. One American settler shot a black boar. And it pissed off one of us Brits. And then we ended up sending in military convoys to San Juan. But we had a, I think it was like a seven week standoff over a pig. Yeah. Uh, I think we just had to call it truce at the end of the day. America, <laughs> America never wins. We do. No. Leaders, leaders. I'm going to try to do this. So what, what's your strat? My strat is wind storms. Close in early. These these slams are really good. Have you been uh, targeting the uh, time category? Yeah. Okay. You need to be getting out of their way too. Yeah. I mean, I've already had, I've already had a port open. But yeah, I mean, some of them are weak. Some of them are weak to blind sides. Some of them are weak to storms. That's a that's a fast Make clear. Sure you're also using your mm -hmm. Right, so now I've got that. That, that cleaned him up. We're just all week to a different mix of stuff, right? Yeah, but... Oh. Keep going. One's still alive. There you go. There's another time here. So this guy, these things hit you so hard to uh, points, you get hit by them. Well, she's in the air so she's not ninjutsu in. Come on! Too long, too long! Now these guys are the worst for me. I think they're weak to blind sides. No. Nope. 
Oh, they're pretty weak to that. See, that's really weak, actually. Yeah, that's weak, too. If that's the strongest. Try win screen. Oh, god damn it. We can't quite get it memorized, really. Always one little bugger just running. Nice, straight on top of the next lock pack. That didn't work so well. Got a better. Come on. Just half the board this fucker. Oh, oh, my score's looking good! Feel good luck charm for me, Bree Bree! No, my score! Can I get a cheeky arc wall in? I think I did win some points, it didn't really work. Out that way. What's this guy weak to? I don't want to get close right now. No! Got it. So I'm just going to get a hit and I've done it. No! It's okay. okay, I'm still in. Woo! Nice! Victory! Mm. No, the score stopped. Uh, the timer stopped. It's one second. Why is that? Nice! Good job. I just needed a fellow tactician to guide me. Clean! Oh, I haven't had the chat up. The next one's a bit difficult. Yeah! <laughs> had a rough year on the next one. Yeah. Okay. Are they uh, all up in the area? In this area? Yeah, this is where all of them are. I'm at the two hour mark. I think I've got to go to. Uh, I've got to get my butt over to Kongaga. We've got to come back for more of these. But it is now time. Yeah, the good thing is you can come back. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna do it. You can go back to everything, which is kind of, it's actually kind of nice to like, once you get to parts where you're kind of like, well, I've had enough of story, yeah. go and do things whenever you want, fast wrap. That's been my, that's been my strap, but I've already been seeing a few comments, so it's like, talk about that I'm missing everything off. You can't miss anything, really. Nothing's missable, you but can go back to it. People are just dramatic, ignore them. <laughs> I've come back and done things. Yeah, I mean, I've not got to. I've got, I've got a few things around here. But I'm, Whenever you have time to do it, it's like... This is... This, this. Oh. Once I cross this shore... I think you need your boat. Don't you? No. I can swim it. I thought there was stuff at the end. That's hot. Oh. Wrong. Please tell me you are wrong. Oh, Bree's right. <laughs> I hate it when she's right. Ginge, yeah. make us a coffee, my darling. I love how angry Breeze gets. Wait, yeah. yeah. right, there's a cat outside. Oh, I see. There's a cat, a new cat friend. Who 
James, why are you locking the door? See it. Ginge is such a nutter. He locks the door when you're still inside. You scared the cat, now he'll never come back. Are you saying no? Cat's back, you must see it still. It's true. Stop being dramatic. That's a good point. Oh, yeah. But it's making a coffee. He's. Don't be spiteful, Ginge. Well, you have kind of been on one. That's a pig. Don't be a spiteful. Spiteful little bitch. I don't think there was anything up here. Just double checking. Right, let's go. Tell me if the cat's responding to you. If it's one of those elusive, keeps its distance, I don't care. Right. Here we go. It is time. Hey, up ahead. That our jungle? Indeed it is. We're hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. I think you scared yeah. away. Yeah, you can. Right, then. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it seems a bit scared off. Stop for the scratch me. Well, I'm in a cutscene, guys. for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Is Fancy popping in? The reaction's Very not much going like anywhere. And I'll bet we can all go with a wee cat now, eh? Sure. <laughs> sure. That's, um, I don't think anyone's surely buying Kate's sits. You okay? I'm, I'm just a nobody. I just... <laughs> I feel like I've been here before. Interesting. feel like I've been here before. Did Cloud ever visit Gongaga? In the OG timeline or compilation so timeline, in Crisis Core, when they escaped. So in Crisis Core, he was he was zonked out though. So I think that this is mostly him. Yeah, the escape from the Nibelheim Manor. He was, Did they go through Gongaga? Yeah, but he was kind of bonked out. Yeah, so yeah. I think that this is him remembering through Zach, probably. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if 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 we're gonna see because because in OG Zach's parents were still chilling about, right? I don't expect we're gonna see them, but some Zach talk. I hope Aerith have some stuff and and, and 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 things. Yo, hold up, hold up. Gongaga region. A region. Gongaga fucking region. Holy shit. This is how big this jungle is. It's a bit difficult to navigate, I'll be honest. Oh my god, what? Very much, it gives you the feeling of jungle because it's just difficult to navigate. Nice, I like a good dense thicket. It was it was pissing me off a bit about the one. Just because this was the area where I was in where I was like, Whoa. Oh, get to this, get to that. What am I supposed to do? Welcome to the most confusing zone. <laughs> Jungles are literally the worst biomes to be in, to be honest. I love them. Nice and, and dense and jungly. The vibe kind of died for me whenever I was just frustrated. Well, lucky for you, or lucky for Cloud and the gang, I am an expert navigator. No chance of me getting lost. Big bugs. Just air jump with some bugs. Bugs. Right, so you guys said that Hexif was a uh, a master juggler. A crotchety juggler. He's a bitch. Great big bushy beard. He's a bitch. Again, I, I feel like the main law we need to know is who made all of these fucking bus stops? And the little baby chocobo did. He built them? Yeah. That's your theory? Yeah. Theory. Baby chocobo is a conduit for Genesis Rhapsodos' soul. What? Say that. 
Second theory. You know Angel only had white wing? One white wing? His other white wing is the baby chocobo. What? Oh, free. Did you have a good... A hard time killing these? No? Good. Right. What the hell? What just happened to you? What? Oh, I'm sticking to the shoreline. I, I just thought I'd be crossing over here, walking into the town and getting a cutscene. I was not prepared for Gongaga region. There's a whole bunch of new Oh, Gongaga port. Okay. Damn, they've blown this up. Hunt. Me? Wasn't that a little wasn't that a little graveyard in OG's Gongaga? Yes. Lush green forests of Greyhound. And he didn't pat the Chocobo either. The, the baby Chocobo gets no more pats. I uh Why are you getting angry? This is where we <laughs> You think it's a different one every time, but this the still it's not. It's not. No, they're not. If Jin has the color chocobo, every shop has a little Every baby, baby chocobo has been it's... white. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. No, it hasn't. It has. Colorblind. They're all different. Brie, really I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, they're wrong. Brie, they are. Take the L. Every single time they're wrong. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I like, Regardless, there's I like how passionately wound up she gets about things. They're, they're all each their own individuals, and they're they're not going to know that you've patted one. Did you know, Cloud? Do you name? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm on first because I still have the Did you know that Chunkabos use mushroom springboards? What are you saying, Chadley? Yes. Do you I... see why it's frustrating now? You don't know where it's going to. So be I need to have a Chunkabo. Yeah. Oh my god. So best to just... Okay. <laughs> ...to wherever you're mosey. So I can't go that way, no. Oh, this is lovely, though. This is lovely. Yeah. Vibes! I'm immaculate! <laughs> Do they eat chocobos in FF7? Yes, I think we've seen it on the menu. Chocobo like yeah. drumsticks and shit. Whenever you're in Walmart, yet? yeah, the cafe. Yeah. Let's do this. Don't stop there. Oh, Tifa, some saucy air juggling. I did bring them up. Man, the, the mobs are squishalicious. Tifa and you here just. See, this is the part of the game where I start getting the feeling like I want to take out. Take off gear. Why? Because I'm not gonna need to. I want to be stringing combos. Honestly, it, it, there's certain, like certain baddies, bad guys. Baddies. They take longer to kill in every section. Yeah. You're gonna have those kind of bad guys. Yeah, but if you talk about bosses, you can't juggle bosses, or well, seldom you can. I'm not talking about bosses, I'm talking about regular okay. regular mobs that are a little Ooh. bit more difficult to kill. No, um, we need a house meeting. Oh. What are we watching later on? Oh, yeah. I thought you were it's getting serious. No. Right. <laughs> Nasty. Are oh. um, you serious? Oh. I'll have to think about it. Oh, it's... It's Gundam time, isn't it? That was I wish I had my headphones in that, right that now. Was, that was the deal. I can't fully hear the music in all its glory, but from what I'm hearing, it's very, very, I like the music here. very nice. Music here is good. Yeah. It gets more fun as the song How goes How cool! It is, it's Braveheart vibes. I like whenever. Oh, oh, it's all so pretty. It's all so vibrant. Go on, have a 
wash off the spank. Oh man! Let's hit the showers. <laughs> what happens if I swim down the lake? What's over here? What's up the stairs? What's around the bend? Oh no! Oh, right. if I go down, will I be able to come back up? Yeah. We. What's down there then? Some sort of special flight? Croaking chorus. Don't turn into a frog. Don't turn into a frog. Commencing guidance protocol. During mating season, the male undergoing chromatic change to attract females. Visual analysis suggests love is in the air. Oh, look at how they move. The amphidex will let air penetrate through its vocal sacs, resulting in a romantic serenade. The of its call is so oh, come on. What? you got to go. They're all getting ready to fart. Why have we got to come in here and ruin their day? Yeah, that's a bit shitty. Like Don't hold that. Are they weak to ice? Shoot you, frog. Frog. Frogaga! I'm from Frogaga! Right, none of you get turned into frogs, please. Oh, oh, cheeky. Just try to sneak me the old froggy one, too. No! No! Tifa got frogged! Fuck's sake! Oh no, Yuffie's gonna get frogged. I might as well restart. Well, I might as well just turn into a frog. Man, they're frogging up a lot. God damn it. God damn it. I didn't even stag one enemy either. Curses and splats. Alright. Alright. Let's try that again. Alright, so I need to get a stagger. Oh. Damn it, Tifa! Give it the old, give it the old focus strike. I ain't gonna get it. Oh no! I'm not gonna get the stagger. <laughs> Uh, come on! <clears throat> so they're weak to ice, right? I don't know. I probably should just do an assess. Oh, I'll do it. That's why I don't need to. I just need to stack that. But I do need to freshen it. Two stacks. <laughs> come on. Exploring the element mental weakness is attraction. Okay, easy enough. So, you don't want big damage. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Oh, right. You can hold it down there and spill it. Made me a nice brew. Thank you, Squire. Oh, that did too much damage! Oh, that's right, I've got the, uh... Look out, I've got it. Oh, no, 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 no. 
could have just done the icy ninjutsus, really. I'm not really using the L1s properly. Uh, been forgetting to use them. Alright. Nice! Done! Done, and I think I just did it all. Yeah, I got all of the objectives in one round then. Even though it took me three rounds. Uh, Alright, nice. Jinji's a good boy. He's a, he's a, he's a high. He's a high. He's not bad. Yeah, when I um, when I went to the US, what really threw me off was part of you know yeah, I went to stay at Bree's dad's house, so we were living there for a bit while we were in the US, and a good way to ingratiate yourself to like the in-laws or what makes a Brit feel comfortable when you're staying around somebody's house is if you can make him a brew. Oh, want a coffee? I'll, I'll pop in the kettle on. What? Want a tea? But that never happened. Cause, and they just looked at me like I was weird. They looked at me like I was strange. They were like, well, we've just, we got a, we got a pot here. You know, it's, where you brew up a, a pot of like 10 coffees. I'm just like, oh. Okay then. No, oh, this music's so cool. Very cool. Do you like the change to the story so far? I mean, the little changes that they have thrown in have um, the little accentuations of scenes. So, like the Midgar Zolom. Small, petite. I do like it. Uh, a few of the Sephiroth appearances, not so much. Um, and we're not really getting any extra mustard on that. Loving everything. To, I, I really thought I'd be disappointed if it was Glenn Lodbrook who was um, Roby McBeardington. But you know what? I'm actually fascinated. I'm actually very, very curious. I thought I wouldn't care because it wasn't a character I knew. That's why I really wanted to be uh, Vado, <laughs> um character from the compilation. But you know what? The mystery is actually is doing it. Is doing it. And then, yeah, obviously everything with Zack and the fucking fan fiction that's going on on the side. Love it! Right, is this actually the entrance to... No, I don't think it is. Man, this is all so lit. This area is so cool! Yeah! Yeah! The mystery of Aerith's material colour. Love it. Um... Well, where one of those clones showed up, and what's happening with the clones overall, the uh, accelerated reunion, like hints that's happening, as well as. I don't know. They've obviously brought in sort of a G Cell theme, as in, G Cells were a lot clearer in demonstrating that Genova cells are two way conduit, so the old merging. Creating big baffling monsters. That I found pretty jarring at first. But again, I'm pretty titillated. Mm. Yeah, filter coffee machines are the way in the US. And I hate that. It ha I, I hate that. Oh, Rag Ragnadan, thank you for the follow. It takes off uh, what, what it means to make a homie a broom. For Brits, it's a sign of affection and that you're being mindful of the other person and their, their caffeination levels. Americans just autonomously taking on own responsibility for their caffeination levels? I don't know. And then also I got mocked by... Um, I got mocked by Americans because, you know, if you like, you're getting your filter coffee pot ready, right? 
So you got your, you put your little white filter thing in, and then you put like ten scoops or some shit, which is a lot of scoops. That's a crazy amount of scoops. And then you filter the coffee through. Now I come down and I'm like, okay, well they filtered one pot through. I have a look. I'm like, ah, yeah, there's more than enough for a second pot out of the granules that are in there. So I filter it through again. Give it a second run. Yeah, sure, the second pot that comes out ain't as strong as the first pot, but it's still a perfectly reasonable pot. No need to go wasting coffee granules, or, or just take, you know, the granules that are in there already, that's had only one pot go through, just put another couple of fresh scoopies in. Is that weird? Is that crazy? I did it, and they're all taking the piss out of me. If you're serious about wanting to be our new best friend, how about giving us some insider info? Well, Go on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. Proclivities? Oh, come on. Okay, then. For a minute, proclivities, I thought... You meant Rufus is banging someone. Oh no, Bree was right. Is that a green baby chokey? No. Is it green? It's a bit of a sickly colour. Oh. Nice, nice. Chesties. I hope there's a... There, there should be a summon for Gongaga region, right? I hope. Chadley gonna give me a new little summon fight? Do not you reuse the grounds. What? Normal thing to do. Ray Arrow says it's normal. Slick with prism, you monster. <laughs> Nocturnal proclivities is another subject. Any chance that Rufus Shinner is, is gay? Or even weirder, because he had a messed up childhood. I know. There's every chance that people who have a messed up childhood become kid diddlers. Who's Rufus a kid diddler? I hate that. I hate that I said that. Fuck me. Rufus is awesome. I, I, I swear I like Rufus. I, I don't think Rufus has done anything wrong. In fact, name one thing. Challenge to the chat. Name one thing that Rufus did wrong. Objectively wrong. And bad. Do it. Tell me the thing. If not, I'm sticking with him being anti-hero. Rufus Shinra anti-hero. He's supposed to be categorised as anti-villain, I think. I think that's what you'd say Square Enix's intentions are. Fired, fired the Dune on cannon. Okay, well, straight up, actually, in this, I suppose you could say, yeah, Rufus Shinra firing that. Because that didn't happen in OG. Him firing that cannon, as told to us, was a declaration of war. Welcome to the New World Order. He didn't do that in OG, though. But you could argue firing that cannon, did he have a choice? I mean, Glenn came along and said, you know, we got a deal. You're going to do this. And you saw Rufus. He, he clearly did not like the situation. So... Possibility his hands are tied. Can't spoil. Yeah, yeah, don't spoil anything for further ahead. Yeah, Advent Children clearly tried to rehabilitate Rufus as an anti-hero, absolutely. But an OG. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Syntax, you're right. He did a lot to help the party. He fired, he used resources to try to break up Meteor. He got us into Northern Crater. He dealt with weapons. Advent Children, he straight up stopped Kadaj and the gang getting a hold of Genova, which they'd got it sooner. Find 
the sanctuaries of Gaga hold knowledge of Kujata. According to folklore, this fantastical being is the tutelary of the forest. Thus, when disaster struck the Mako reactor, many believed in the result of Kujata's Kujata! Nice! Chadley, where the fuck are you? I want my chat I want my Kujata fight right now. Right now. Where are you, you chode? Try disaster time, baby! His crime is being sexy and white. Oh, sexy in white. <laughs> I said, blimey, Syntax hates white people. <laughs> Alright, Kajata Sanctuary. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Is the uh, audio still doing a little bit of chibbly chip chip chibbly chops? He sent the Turks to drop the plate in OG. That weren't Rufus. Hell to the no 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 no. I mean, I suppose in Before Crisis, Rufus did do some pretty bad stuff. But I don't know how aware he was. Like, he was obviously pulling the strings with the avalanche cells. And the avalanche cells definitely did a lot of damage. Mm. Don't know how much of that was directly Rufus. He was mostly just trying to get his dad. I don't know if Before Crisis, Rufus did anything too serious, seriously sinister. I've not had the audio in a long time. Okay. Oh god, that's complex. That's not. Triangle square. Triangle square. I got that. Yo, Kajata looks wild. He's got. He's got a little head. He's got two eyes, four eyes. Fucking whoa. <laughs> the design is crazy. I love it. Ah, oh, looks so lit. Triangle square. Triangle square. Did I get that? That was sloppy. Yeah, straight up. All right. <laughs> they're they're pretty forgiving with uh, the exact placements of that. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Cheers, love. Thanks, Chadley. Thanks, darling. Nice. Right. <clears throat> Let's go. So, does anyone know where for unto hither is is a Chadley? Is he actually in Gongaga Town? Probably, right? Bye. A sloop up here. Get in the town. There'll be some Queen's Blooders up there. Um, the game's not giving me enough Fort Condor. I, I need more Fort Condor. Oh, and the Golden Source is out there chilling with some chokey races for me. Oh. So much to do. Yeah, there's been a, quite a few warfalls that I've been walking around recently that have exactly this vibe. Exactly this vibe. Hanging trees with vines and... Oh man, there's material up there. God damn it. Where are all the chokey handlers? Here we go. <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. Oh, we. It's very quiet. This is where we're going to get ambushed by. You know who? Here we go. 
they are! Gungaga mushrooms! They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here? Here you can't move for the- Uh oh, here we go! Ambush! With sticks! Passing there through. she is! Why did you have to spoil this trailers? What? Why? Sister. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Where? No. 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 Just no. No. What was that? Sorry, but Cisne knows who Cloud is. Or, or no, she did recognise it was Cloud. You. Oh, for a minute, I don't know. My brain just dug. I thought they were trying to play her. She thought it was Zach. But she knows both Zach and Cloud. But she quickly, she's, she's smart. Cisne sharp. She saw that Cloud doesn't recollect her. So then she quickly backtracked on her uh, tell that she knew him. I get it. I confused the scene. <laughs> Not an ad break. There's an ad. Well, let me know when it's over. Ad YouTube just be randomly inserting them. It's going to make me money. She's faking, obviously, yeah. No, for a minute there, I thought that they were trying to do a, oh, I confused you with Zach play, but no, she, she, she I was reading it wrong. <laughs> Probably. Let's go. Who are you people? Uh, you'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? <laughs> we Well then. Cisney's so pretty. Alright, so Cisney knows that that's Gaga. Reeve. I'm Cisney, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Cisne has got some very different vibes. She's she's changed up. She's got a different manner to her. I mean, being a Turk did kind of kill and crush her soul. What do you think of her outfit? It's very curious. I feel like there's been a few lightning return outfits that were similar to this. You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. So surreal seeing Cisne out of the suit. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course. <laughs> Come on. They're double languaging. Are you telling me none of the crew noticed that? That shush. He went shh. Red, you absolutely heard that shush. <laughs> the hill's this way. So obviously, Red you heard it me? first, and then Cloud. Do soldiers have enhanced hearing? Get a lot of visitors. What with the job, can't even remember the last time. But See, that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. She here largely just to try. She feel guilt over what happened to Zach. Does she still think Zach's alive? Does she know? No, she knows Zach died, right? Yeah, she knows Zach died. Or does she? Well. What happened in this timeline? Oh man, that's tripping my fucking brain now. Cause Cisne, holla. Cisne obviously by OG timeline or by Crisis Core timeline would have left the Turks after Zack died. She was kind of out the door a little bit anyway, so maybe she would have left regardless. But no, Cisne would not have left the Turks without Zack dying, right? So now, obviously, if the World of Chaos line, Zack's world line, he, he lived. Would Cisne still be a Turk over there? But then over here, does this World of Livestream line conform to original events? A.K. there's no Zack in this world? Or is it all just purely some sort of weird spiritual like, instance? 
some sort of like live stream fucked up sandbox world that our spirit bodies are just playing out some sort of new world in? gradient live stream gradient playing out I don't know, just my brain's trying to logic through just no being here but maybe we're going to get some answers oh yeah these are the graves Twitch has no audio just so you know Oh, yeah, that's weird. And then putting this theme in, clean. Uh, so I don't know how to do sign language for Twitch to go over to YouTube. Go over to you. Who? You go over to you choose. Since they probably stayed and looked after the next panther after he died. So that's where it took out. Yeah, I mean that's that's the logic of her being him on guard, right? Is Zach died, so she came over to protect the place, try to make up for the things that she did, if she is carrying guilt and regret. But how does that work if Zach's still alive? How does that work? Unless, of course, World of Chaos line, that is, if that is a purgatory line, if that is a Clypoth, it is a corrupted off branch, a husk masquerading as reality, or are we in the reality masquerade? <laughs> How does any of it work? Let's find out. She, she might be more than exact right now. Ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. I right, 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 right. And couldn't he handle the stress? It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day. So, they're cheap as well. <laughs> this was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. How old is Cisne at this point? You guys must be tired. She must be. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up. Wouldn't they say no? Well, like 24? My house is just down there. I know, how old, old was she in policy, Crisis Core? So feel free. Don't mind if I, do. I just assume everyone's a teenager in, I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> in Crisis Core. Like everyone seems Seriously. to become Get some rest, okay? super powerful, glowed up, like fucking Giga Chads at the age of 16 to 19. Makes me feel like 16 to 19? I weren't doing shit, man. I weren't doing nothing. You know what I was doing between 16 and 19? I was fucking staying up until 3 in the morning playing RuneScape. My morning and evening consisted of hours of arduously going and buying rune smithing bars from an auction house, a market house, that I'm trying to fiddle and fix the prices on. So I can get my, my rune bars, then I'm going over to Ghost Town because it's got a good nearby forge, and I'm spending hours clicking back and forth, running from the bank to the fucking forge to Forge room skimitars so I can try to get level 99 room smithing. I spent the best part of six months doing that, got myself to level 93, and realized that's only the halfway mark. So then I tried fucking, fucking, let's go for an easier one. Let's go for wood chopping. 
the uh, the tree came. There I am. Hours every day clicking on trees, clicking on trees. Same with with Hunter trying to get Hunter Cake ninety nine. Someone else, I've got my little three willow trees that I've locked down by the river. Someone comes along. Oh, fucking game's on. He's trying to cut my willow. I'm gonna have to fucking play him. So I have to calculate in my head when the willow tree is gonna respawn. So I've got to click on that willow tree in a microsecond before that fucker does. Because if I do that enough, that other person's gonna lose momentum. They're gonna get pissed off and they're gonna bugger off to another server. I will stay king of these three willow trees for the next three months. That was my life. These people are fucking highly qualified assassins. And now she out here leading a bloody village. Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? Jesus Christ. They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. Didn't settle down here until after the reactor incident. Place may not seem like much compared to Midgar, but it's more than enough for me. Damn, Cisne seems calm. She seems... She's different. There we say it. Has Cisne found... Found the wings that she was looking for? That Cisne lassie was right, you know. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. But instead, they looked the other way. Willful negligence killed those people. And everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. Aerith hasn't been herself since we got here, has she? Wonder why. Does she know the place? Does she indeed. Let's go find... <laughs> Sup, Red? Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which let's find out. Do you think they are? Okay. Uh. Wait, wait. Which one is poisonous? Well, select the patch you believe to be Gongarga mushrooms. Oh, oh, that's easy. Yes, yeah, the one on the right. Right ones. Correct. I yeah. suppose this scent does make it rather obvious. The soil here is exceptionally so easy. So I buy just impressed red? As if it exudes life itself. Oh nice. Okay, so this was the OG graveyard and then the monument is just for the reactor explosion. Accident that forever changed Gungaga and her people. I'm sure all of you know about our Mako reactor. Okay. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Cisne always calm on the exterior? She wasn't over emotional. She just showed emotion was act was the fugitive sample. Yeah, she she yeah she was always calm and cool and collected, but there was sadness in her eyes. There was uh, there was a downbeat, and if you look deep enough, it kind of kind of confused, conflicted. Cisne right now. I know, she does not look conflicted. That's what I think what I'm describing. There seems like there's a an ease in her being that feels very nice to see. See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs. Maybe even a pot roast. What, what's a pilaf? What sort of thing would you go for? Pilaf? What is pilaf? I'm gonna go with the pot roast. Ah, oh, it's all so shit. I'm gonna go with the pot roast. With the pot roast. Ah, why does that not surprise me? I remember mom saying how Claudia's was, was the best she'd ever had. <laughs> if you tell me what it was like, I could try and make it for you. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, Tifa, um, I always said Tifa was the uh, hot girlfriend vibe, but Aerith was, uh, Aerith is waifu material, I don't know, These Tifa demonstrating some of that, 
that wifey quality. Wait. Is that inappropriate and misogynistic to say? Because she offered to cook, that's wife material? That's problematic. I can get cancelled for that day. shit. Now that's luxury for you. Imagine eating gangaga mushrooms every day. Every day? Now Ugh. That's luxury for you. <sighs> My bowels are churning just at the thought of it. Mushrooms are very hard on my anus. <laughs> oh man, Gogoga! It's, it's a little slice of slice of life. Open your hearts to the words of our mother. Beneath your rich fertile fields, a rot runs deep. It seeps down, creeps into the very bosom of the planet. She cries out in need of your aid. What if we do not Thank you for follow, mate. Beckon lands will be overrun by dark fiends, by decay, become as barren as the desert. So is he a planetologist? <laughs> Straight up, this is all. Oh, there's a piano, there's a piano, there's a piano for me to torment myself with. Let's go. Let's go. I haven't really got the capacity to properly hear the audio. So I'm playing out my speakers. I didn't charge my headphones, but let's give it a bloody go. Oh, Cinco de Chocmo. Okay. Cooking is a common, to be fair, cooking is a common spousal practice. I think I cook more than brie. <laughs> Which is also to say not much. We've been traveling. It's just... It's just just takeaway times. Takeaway times all the time. Right. Maybe I'll get this first go. Can I turn this up anymore? If I don't get it, it's because I can't hear it properly. It's a bit quiet. Oh, that was such a weird tone shift. It threw me off. <laughs> That's a weird one. That's, I want to quickly see if I can nail Barrett's because uh, I was close last time. As your calamity. Yo, guys, I want to see as many likes on As Your Calamity's five schmeckles as possible. Let's see how many we can get. This is a new feature. You can like a super chat. Let's get let's get fiddy. Fiddy likes on Azure Clam is swarm it guys. Swarm it with likes. Imagine if Gongago swarm with, <laughs> with enemy monkeys. I'd be out of there. I was just gonna say I, I would love to live in a place like Gongago. I dream of a nomadic kind of society where you come out of your heart and it's just lush, and it's green, and it's open, and it's built into nature and and everyone's just chill and there's community and you do your work for the day and it's a little bit challenging it's a bit laborious you know but it's good work it's fulfilling work and then you meet up with your community at the end and you gather for dinner and then for the evening you take mad psychedelics and trip balls that's the life i want to live so you want to be a mongol <laughs> I was always almost close to going to Mongolia. Yeah, I would not mind living in a yurt, man. Straight up. Yurt life. Okay. Uh, I can get this song. Let's get the star. Good start. Nice so far. Let's get it.
dude, I looked at the score. There were so many times in there I thought I'd hit good. And I knew I was literally having an internal conflict that I knew I needed to not try to check. But when the note sounded bum, and it wasn't, but then in the split second I checked, I lost a note. Fuck that. I've got this song twice now. With freaking one good. I just want me a star. Horrible. Gotta get all of them. Bang, bang, bang. It's horrible to miss one note. Especially once you come out of that horrible mid phase of this song. God oh, damn it. Come on. Ah, oh, that's the third time. The third. Come on. I gotta just. I, I'll bring it home. Let's go kick back. I'm gonna be relaxed about it. I think I'm too on edge. Don't give a damn. My ass really hurts. My glutes are really achy, they're feeling kind of bruised. Why do my glutes hurt? They're really sore. Did I do a workout? No, my glutes just hurt from doing lots of poops. And doing lots of screaming on my butt. Sitting on my butt every single day. I'm gonna get an old man pancake bar. If I don't do my squats, but I don't really care. Juicy glutes are the best, only on the female. Fuck it. <laughs> oh. Come on. All right. I don't think I was messing about too much. <laughs> 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 I want an online Queen's Blood mode. Me too, as your man. We need to petition for online Queen's Blood. I'd slap you silly as you. But yeah, I would like to live in Gogaga, but if it's swimming with monkeys, I am out. I now officially hate monkeys, and I will till the day I die. This is the one. Got to stop checking the score. I feel like it's that note, it's that same random off key note. It just comes through, it's just weird and placed and not part of any melody. It's just like this. Come on. Cisne. Cisne's watching. Is this what Zach died for? Here's the shit kicker. Let's go. Got it.
I can't, I can't. I just, I can I? It's the worst. I don't want my stars. Okay, we're gonna give this one guy the um, I'm out, I'm out. Be better when I got headphones in. I flicked the stick, but I just got a miss. <laughs> I don't really need to stop this, I can just get an A on this, I don't need to get the star. The sink or the chocobo, not just yet. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Good, bum hole. Dude, what is going on? I'm hitting those notes. Is it lame to blame your controller? Dude, I'm flicking this shit. Control the malfunction, guaranteed. Oh shit, oh, I missed that one. <laughs> I'm all over the f oh my god. I don't know if this is even an A at this point. Be a pity, eh? Hey? Dude, these notes are so jarring, it's not going with anything. <laughs> is that an A still? It is. Wow. Cool. Right, we're done with that. Dude, the piano boss is the hardest boss in this game. Look out! Do you need to get star ranks on this to get platinum? That, that the question. Is that something you place? need? Share performance. Yeah, I've done it. Give me my, give me my shit. Warding me a two star. Thank you for sharing such joy. I hope you will enchant us. Steadfast block. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm gonna, it's about the three hour mark, guys. We've said hello to Cisne. Gonna have a quick Queen's Blood game, and I'll be back tomorrow. On to Queen's Blood, now, mate. Quite right. Sorry for all that. It doesn't take much for them to get worked up. My Destructo deck is. A farmer. Supreme. A is enough. Oh, you only need to get A. My back's forcing me to take a break Dude, for a that's bullshit. Week. You should have to get a star for Platinum. Can you play Queen's Blood by chance? Uh, game would help also, I saw something that apparently... Sitting around soaking up the sun is all well and good, but at this rate, it's liable to put me to sleep. Where was it? People with digital um, versions of Rebirth cannot Platinum the game. So where was it? What is it? I, I kind of don't want to see it. See, because it might be a spoiler. Also, oh, it's the bike mini game. Basically, the quest line for the digital version of Rebirth bugged out, whereby no matter what you do, it won't process your score. I've hit over 32k on the bike mini game. And it would just not register. So loads of people have been denied their platinum. Oh boy. Great Marlborough. When applied, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on effect hold by six. Oh my great Marlborough stanker breath of Reno. That's been such a good card. It's gonna be such a good card. 
Holy nips for my Destructo deck. Oh, oh. Right. Wait, I just realised I've got the digital version. For a second there, in my head, I was like, <laughs> ah, noobs buying the digital edition get wrecked. I've got the digital edition. Fuck. That mean I can't get... No. Is that a bug for all of them or just some people's digital editions? Destruction versus destruction. Is this Mofo a Destructo deck as well? Oh god. <laughs> Alright. I've got a. There'll be a good strategy in here somewhere. What's the play? What's the play? That. Mm. I need to think this one out. And I push out. Try to get centre with two. Play the Moogle Trio in early. I mean, I don't want to start destroying stuff until. until it is time. Do I just want to try to rush into their lane? Maybe? I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to keep rushing out. I know the Cactuar won't be getting the boost, but... Meh. Oh, a little bit of Arch Toad. Arch Toad early on. I know that's not killing any of theirs. But that would give me... Hmm... Yeah, there's no point in me killing. Yeah, you know, maybe just Caper Wire now. Just real board, board secure, and then I can play Arch Dragon in. Potentially, somewhere deep. Alright, that's cool. I mean, mmm. I could just play the Moogle Trio with an intention to destroy it, or I could... Mm. <laughs> oh, um... Oh boy! No, I'm just going to deep line a bomb. It's kind of a shit play. Mm. Mm. Oh, Scrotum. Quetz the Scrotum. I think I need to play this in or he's going to steal me up. Mm. Uh, it just keeps getting uglier and uglier. I've kind of fucked myself, really. I don't know if that's the play. Yeah. Uh, nothing's coming out of Moogle Trio that's going to save me. Oh, man. This is poo. Total poo. Uh, I just need to play a two down here, to be honest. Ah. I kind of, I kind of screwed myself up, big time. My death claws just ain't coming out, man. I want to start destroying stuff. Ah, oh. ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh -oh, I've got to restart. Too many, too many two cards. Not enough oneers. That was horrible. <clears throat> Wait, I can't believe that people are reselling their physical copies after they finish the game. Right. Who? Who's selling their 
Seven Rebirth is not the kind of game you play and then sell back. Sixteen is. Sixteen is a great game for the story, but there's not enough sidey stuff. Rebirth is not. There's too much to do. <laughs> I mean, why do I want to run this? Hmm. <laughs> Nah, Flame Troop. Matt, I need to take Flame Troop out of my deck. Uh, flame Troop just kind of pisses me off. Oh shit, Flame Trooper. Oh, okay, I've got a plan. I'm a man with a plan. <laughs> nice, double caper wires. I'm happy with that. So if I put that there, the Flame Trooper will also destroy my. Uh, also, caper wires only take take it down by one. So do that so we can get move a trio out so we can branch if they don't take that bottom. They don't take that bottom position right now. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Move a trio, secure those two. It's decent. Now I should be able to murder their cactus up in the top with Moogle Mage, right? Moogle Mage with the deep line murder. Bang! That's a clean play. It's kill number one. Joker getting buffed. I also have the capacity to kill. When played, lower the power of allied enemy cards on effect tiles by two. So it's when played. So I could now kill my Moogle Mage whenever I want. Could take it out now because I'm losing, I'm losing spots. Yeah, that's the good play. Jelly Jelly Welly. Gives me two slots again. Clean. Oh, they're going for the Melbra kill. Okay, that's fine. Stinker. I'm good. I am good. I was gonna... So that's another win played. I think Death Clawing. It's Death Clawing the way. Death Claw may be the way, unless there's summon summon a mission. Mm. Unless I put a bomb in and I blow everything to smithereens. Yeah, I think Death Claw's the one. It's just that they could easily lay and take me completely. Ah, whereas if I lay in the middle, it's a little bit better. They can air. No, they can still take me. Fuck it. Just gotta do it. Gotta risk, risk being swamped. I've been swamped. I've been swamped. Ah. He will lay in the middle. Of course I laid in the middle, but he could have laid anywhere, also, so I've, I've lost that round. Those cards are pretty common, multi-single directionals, it's diagonals that are less common. Alright, I'll tell you. I think I might just get rid of Flame Trooper and Bomb, I, I seldom get any uses for them. Alright, is Copper Wire play? You better play early. Early days. Because it could be a decent play if I then destroy it. Keeper keep wire. I've got a plan. Securing Officer Bottom, Caper Wire then branching out from the mid with a security officer kill early on 
Oh, we also want to get the Midgards. We want to get the Midgard Soma Rush. Right, that changes my plans a little bit now. We've got Soma already. Does it? Does it change my plans, though? It doesn't need to. So I could rush, I could rush, I could put Cape Wire, block it off with Security Officer. Yeah, it's a good play actually. This is the one. Get Midgar Soma tucked behind. And then I can try to go for some kills. Yes, yes, this is it. Midgar Soma play isn't going to be that helpful to me right now, but... Shit. Probably should have let him play me too hard. Are they going to lay in the top if I go? Wonder if they're going to try to take the top. Flip me and then I can flip it back with Midgasoma. Midgasolem. Ah. Wait, it is saying Midgard. So much. Yeah, I don't really know how to play this because again, I've, I, I need to put one cards in. I need to take Bomb and Flame Trooper and get some better one cards in. Ah, I mean, I have the Clown Lance kill, but. Yeah, man, if I. I know what he's going to do, he's going to take me on the top. And then I'm not going to have a 1 to play. Yeah, now I don't have a 1 to play. Right, I, need to, I need to reconfigure my deck. <laughs> I don't have enough 1 in this. Fucking. Alright. Bomb, you're out. Flame Trooper, you're out. Ah. Uh, um, that's raise the power. What's Flan do? It's just a one-up with two, with a behind play. Nah. Actually, Mandragores are pretty good because they'll they'll give you another one in case I do get kind of desperate. And I think sticking the other arch chode in. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> right. This should go a much, much smoother. I don't need those yet. Sweet, death claws in nice and early. Okay. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to brush Zolom soon as. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, Arch Dragon. Arch Dragon, use them a bit more freely. All right, now we need to start killing, killing some cards up. We need to do some murder. All right, sweet. Now I'll secure back this top spot. Ooh, that's a nice security officer play right in there, right in there. Scrap that. Boom. Boom. Now my caper wire. My caper wire coming in with a kill on the center tile. Unless he flips it, which he has done. Which he has done. Yes. Hold up. Hold up. La, 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 la. We take it. That's the play. Got to be. Nice. Clean.
Mm. Again, I'm stuck in a one position. One on lockdown. I've always got this security officer that I can take out with my Toxirat on the back line. I always got that play in the back pocket. So for now, I think it's just a cactus I'll play with a boost. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, oh, you're destroying your own cards, you idiot. But I've got Solemn and Death Claw. You fool. You fool. Okay, I kind of don't want to lock. Hmm. What can I do here? I guess, yeah, I guess I should take that. It's not great. <laughs> We're doing it. It's fine. I've always got my crown lance in my back. My back line. See, now this is my backup play. I think Toxa Lance is probably a better. Actually, no, no, no. Oh, I'll be able to destroy a lot of him, actually. If I play the jelly, right? Arch Chode, the Arch Chode of Banterbury, he's going to go down to one, one point. Then I can caper wire take out my cactuar and my arch -dope. I'm finally doing it, Mum. I'm playing destruction deck correctly. Ready for this? Fucking juicy. See that now? Now, now, now. Boy's got that. I want to destroy that. But maybe I should just arch chode my way in. Yeah, boy. Reboosting. Reboosting up hard. Oh, this little sneaky death claw. I, <laughs> I could destroy another one of my caper wires if I want. On. We'll take that. Does that kill? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes. What else can I do? Finish on that. There we go. That could be my high score today. How many points is that? No, almost forty. Yeah. The caper wire was plus six, wasn't it? <laughs> I still think I'd make more. The fact that I had two death claws, a Joker, and a Somerel. Aren't you something? So is that. Nice, that was fun. Mm. Oh, but you know. Skip that's dialogue. exactly the way it should be. You're better off harnessing that energy. Well, you've still got enough to live life to the fullest. You can sit and relax to your heart's content when you get older and your back starts. Wait, you've seen you people no win with like 200 that's why points. You should spend your youth getting up to all oh. kinds of mischief. <laughs> If you ever tire yourself out, though, who was well, supposed to highest points you cards. you guys have ever achieved? A little downtime can do a body good. Two hundred. Right, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pull up for two hundred. <laughs> That's possible. I mean, you'd need to be destroying a lot of cards, right? That'd be the general gist. Have to have some sort of destruction, or is it? Surely only destruction can get points that high. The highest I got was like 95. Remember, no the wildlife. All right, against this guy, I'm, I'm gonna start low. All right, I'm gonna at least beat my person best. I haven't got past 50. That was the closest I've been. Let's let's at least do that. Don't ask how I can tell, but you're into Queen's blood, aren't you? 
Isn't that great, Oscar? I found some Oh, you Oscar's can play adorable. Let me introduce you. This is Oscar Oscar's the Swift. So He's a watch Chocobo. A huge Queen's Blood fan too. He gets cranky if he can't play at least one game I'm a day. I'm playing the cho I've played so, a German you? Shepherd and now I'm playing the Choke. Oh Jesus. Alright. So is there any changes I need to make on this deck right now? Uh, oh, no, I just got my new my new car. Wait, wait, I got a few new cars, haven't I? Raise the power for each other for each other in home ally, ally in a new card, not that. Destroy an allied card and replace it. Wait, wait. What is that? It's got an arrow, guys. It's got an arrow as the symbol. Destroy an allied card and replace it. What the fuck? You can just slap a grand horn down on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna put that in, see what's about. Alright, definitely, definitely want this Marlboro. Great Marlboro is hard to play effectively, yeah, because it'll be hard to get a three tile section out onto the right. Oh, your first replace card. So there's replace cards. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Uh, I need to take out two now. What's not really serving me? Uh, hmm. Got kind of a use for all of these. Moogle Trio has its moments. Mandragora can give me the supplement. Maybe it's Cactua. Cactua just ain't. And maybe I don't need two Arch Dragons. It's a little bit of an imbalanced deck. Maybe I need to take out Toxirac. Toxirac. Crown Lance. I like that Cockatrice can kill anything no matter the score. I like Joker. And Moogle Trio has its moments as well. I'm just going to do this. Let's go. I think Joker isn't that good. I mean, the top two, it's alright. It plays obviously like a Yeti. It's alright. So Grand Horn, can I just play that shit whenever? I'm gonna keep it in my deck. Don't need Great Marlboro yet, don't need that. All right, 50 to beat. I'm a max my top score. Yeehaw. Wanna go early. Yeah, I kinda wanna build onto the middle. Which is always kind of hard to do. Right, so I want to try to. I want my strategy to be to try to build deep three. Kind of already screwing this up. Right, how does this work? Oh, you destroy an allied card and replace it, not an enemy. Okay, I was gonna say an enemy card. That seemed crazy, mate. Ah, I've already started like poo, really. Uh, yeah, that's good. I don't know how I'm going to build my three. I think I've already kind of started to stink. Right, let's go. Oh, oh, that was a harsh, choky flip. Uh, hey. Did you hear me screaming? No. Had a scream. Why? This woman's stupid. Oh. Don't understand English. Alright, tell me about it later. I won't. I'm deep in the. Uh... That was it. Oh, that was it? Yeah. I've played this game like trash. I'm going to follow it through, but I'm pretty sure I've. Yeah, I've biffed myself up. Ready! Unless I just do that. I mean, that's actually, it's actually not bad. That's actually a pretty good play. It's actually, your card. it's actually a very, it's actually a surprisingly very good play. Wait, I just destroyed. Then you can use Joker. Yeah, but why did my death claws just? Why did my death claws just pump? Hmm? Why did my death claws not pump? What do you mean pump? 
So death claws pump if you destroy cards. But, but that's not a death claw. Yeah, it is. Enemy. Ah. Oh. Um. I've been running death. Just play it. Just play it. Oh, I've been running death claws thinking. Oh. That's okay. Ah. So. What's Penis! What's Joker do again? It's uh. When allied and enemy cards yeah. are destroyed. Okay, <laughs> oh, I shouldn't. I should probably have just caper wired out then, because I'll be unnecessarily hitting my own cards in the face. And I've done this pretty bad. But... Yeah, not great. I could probably still fall back if you wanted to. So, I mean, I can replace yeah, any replace card. Yeah. yeah, it's probably time to do the replace. Unless I build that in, the bard. It's not it's not the best of plays, but... Or you want to get as much of the board as you can at this point. Or I could just cape wide and just let my joker come down one, hit boost. I'm tempted just to go for that. Free myself up another slot. Fuck it. Because, yeah, he's just buffed himself back up, so it's not too bad a play. Fuck a cape wire up the zoo out. That's not bad, and then I can throw out a deep fly Moogle Mage. Dash, if he doesn't take that Moogle Mage slot, well, of course he's going to. Yeah. Snot. You can also replace this guy. That's what I would do, replace him with that. Brew. Oh, 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 Brew. I'm, I'm very good at this game. Oh, Brianna. I'm good at card games. You smart little salmon. Yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Wait, how's he playing? Oh, he's replacing one of his cards. Okay. But Sick. That's good for you. Right, so I want to. Right, that's the dude like murder. 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 Right. Oh, do you want to get Zolom built? So should I just make a little harmless? You have three reign of the board essentially right now, so I would I would do things around this so he can't use it, and then you can put whatever else you want there. Well, I think I've got free reign no matter what now. Well, now if he replaces this, then one of these might open up for him. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of want to boost this so that I can. Could boost that with this though, couldn't you? Yeah. So I can put Zolom in and then get two and then I'm gonna try for Try for lots of destruction now. Oh he doesn't have any more cards. Is Crown Lance the most damaging thing here? Mm. Just put whatever you want down. I'm gonna need to start destroying my own cards though. I think I've come too deep. E I'm, I'm going for a high school, which I think I've just fucked. Right. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> My goal here isn't to win, Bri. My goal. You lose? No, my goal is to try to get a higher score than fifty. See, this is where you kind of actually might need flame troopers and shit. There's Eliminate some of your own cards. Because they'd be saying some people be getting scores of like 200. Yeah, you need more of those uh, cards that will overwrite your other cards. That's how I've been getting high scores. Well, this is the first ever replace card I've had. You only have one. Oh, now you have two. Replace an ally, raise This power. is a really good one, actually. So what I usually do with this one is I'll overwrite Whoa. a pretty high card. This is the first time and then it gets added lose. like that. Expect that. But however much they have, it gets added to one of the, your cards. <laughs> Seems yeah. like he's a and then bit. you can just replace that as well. Anyway, thanks so much for indulging him. Juicy Lucy. It's a lot harder for us to do our jobs when he's in a mood. 
Really? Believe Good it or job. not, he's gonna make his television debut soon. He'll be up against a dog that plays Queen's Blood. The dog. We have to make sure he wins. He's so adorable. He's so cool. tourism here. He's pretty great. Queen. <laughs> Go put off. Good job. Nice. Wait, that that chunk boy was a level seven Queen's Bladder, or has he just gone to level seven? Is there only two in this oh. area? Oh, I've just realised. Old Chodley, King of the Chodes, from Chode Town. He has probably got Kujata. Try that. He's probably got a fucking little Kujata stashed up his bum. Come on then. Oh, well, hello, right. one going Kajar and then I'll go in the stream. The tires are reinforced to provide, the which means you can explore the dunes. Yeah, this also we'll do. means you can gather more detailed intel about the desert for me. I was got. Oh, use limit siphon. Allows you to absorb an ally's limit gauge to fill your own. Particularly like that. Wait, does it does it take it off them? Yeah. Uh, it does. This is a shit material, isn't it? I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know about that. I have no need for that ever. Yeah, limit cipher. That's, that's a weird one. Quake. Okay. Synergy support. Right. I have no idea what Kajata's going to be strong or weak to or anything. Just going to go in and we're going to do it first go. Can it assess him? Yes. Do I even want to bring Cloud in? I don't like fighting with Cloud. <laughs> I don't know if I have a cess on anyone else. Barrett's always a good shout. Barrett is always a good shout. Let's go. These, these three. It's actually Let's a pretty go. good team. Let's <laughs> go. Pretty good team there, Braxby. Oh, my. Good luck. I'm going to stay back a little bit. Do some observing. Barrett. He's a great opener. Yeah, because you can keep your eye out. And he starts with the overcharge always. Let's kind of... Just get a nice steel skin. I want this first go. Oh, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Right. I think. She... Did you feel having a sense? Ah, oh, shit. Oh. I don't know if I've even got like proper plays and stuff, or heals, or anything. Or chakras, or... I kind of should have checked my build before I came in. I don't know, what, what hurts fire? Uh, uh, fire? I don't know. You mean lightning? Oh, he's lightning. Lightning is, uh, wind. It's the opposite, but I don't think he's at that right now. Looks like he's icy, doesn't it? Still a few little freebies. Well, he's I know it's not fire. How about I just try again? Wind! Wind is the element! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Things are going well so far. Don't swim in here. Should have blocked. Should have blocked. Ah. Uh, what's my what's my healing stitch? Yeah, coming in without prey is gonna really hurt me. Praying is pretty pretty important. Man, I was holding block. It's annoying that both those horns, both those horn swipes get you in. Get you locked up, can't get out of it. I think we should just get this going. Uh, oh no, using staggered phones, that one. I might have used it regardless of whenever it shows up. Yeah? yeah? I just need some focus shots. Is her ninjutsu? Oh, right, so he is, he's switching around the elements. 
He's a tri disaster, right? So he's Omni Elemental. Oh, I've not done Cyclone Kick yet. Gonna make sure he lands. Okay, it looks like he's fire now. Yeah. In go. Wait, was I supposed to be close? Oh shit! Oh shit, I thought. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Yuffie is just an absolute maniac. She's so good at sorting everything. It's definitely OP. Ah. Which she was not like that in OP. No. <laughs> she was not. I did not use her for shit. Oh my god, I'm getting whacked around. Oh, yeah. I haven't got her built with uh gotta get her stacked up with the uh, unbridled strength. Kind of wasting a lot here. Basically did nothing doing that. I'm not built right. I'm not built right. Yeah, yeah. Wing ninjutsu. Yeah, that was horrible. Let me get out. Let's get out of my trunks, go. Yeah. So I, I can't really just be wasting precious, precious mana. Oh, ah. Yeah, I'm gonna get murdered just purely based on. A profound lack of healing capability. Because Kajata, he's gonna buff that a special soon, and I don't have anything to heal myself through. Chilling horn. A little butthole. Good luck, Rats. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to restart the fight now because I'm going to get slowly murdered. Disaster, there it is. There's my death. Might as well see it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh. God damn. My mission. Oh, syntax, you off. Toodaloo, mate. Sleep well. Oh my god. Alright. Um, let me sort my, sort my configuration out. You hungry? Don't worry. 
Even incomplete trials can provide me. I Let's quickly build. Is this the right team? I feel like the team's all right. I can definitely pull this off of them. Yuffie just gets... She gets so much ATB. I think preying on her would be decent. If I only got one prey materia, I do. Now she could be my prayer. Tifa's got her own chakra. Got the fire, the thunder. Um, are we using her for barriers and whatnot? I don't know. Alexander. What else do I need? Don't need steel. Let's use. Um, 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 I'm not sure what to build. I've got my prey, so I'm kind of set. I wish I had two prey. Is there more than one prey materia? At least you have a taste now. Just one go is always a lie. Well, I mean, the first go isn't a go. The first go is, is like surveying the land, man. I was just surveying the land. This is technically the first go. Now, I mean, I know if actually running without cloud is, is the way. Ay, ay, ay. I'm just conscious about mana and how fast it's going to go. Honestly, just in case it comes down to the line, I think I'm going to be strongest on Yuffie. I feel like actually just running her with the Chakra material as well. And I feel like, yeah, Barrett backing this up with the heals. It's going to be nice. Uh, so to make the curing better, Barrett on the heels, we need to reduce, oh, oh, expand the range of linked materials. Yo, is this worth it for healing, team healing? I know, yo guys, I need to help you pick. Do I do magnify on the heels so everyone gets a bit of healing? Or do I reduce the cost of linked materials by 15%? Which one? Magic efficiency or magnify? I mean, yeah, potency down 60%. Damn, I want to level that to level three, only 25%. Haste alone is worth it. I've got haste on you, Fee. Oh, you can buy prayer. Straight up. Magnify haste is good. Oh, magnify haste would be good. Because when it says the potency modified by minus 60%, does that mean the amount of time on haste is reduced by 60%? The amount of time the buff is up? Or are the developers not smart enough to make that the case? There's something that I feel like they could have easily overlooked. Do you listen to K-pop? Brie does, and she's kind of, kind of started in getting a taste. <laughs> Magnify haste. Oh, okay, you know I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do magic efficiency for the cheap prayers, and then what can I take out here? Keep chakra. Keep prayer. I do want to. Uh, I kind of want both the HP ups to survive. Wait, do I need Twin Viper? I probably don't need Twin Viper right now. Yeah, no, I've, I've taught her everything she needs on that. Fuck. 
Full point shuriken. Let's just go old and classic. Put that in there. And then magnify. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're making it happen. Right, lightning damage up. Increase brave thief. Increase weapon damage. Keep first up. Right, we're going to put the HP buff in and base weapon damage. I think we are ready to cook some some Kujata ass. I thought Brie listens to J-pop or K-pop. No, she loves K-pop as well. Look forward to seeing mm -hmm. K-pop. I mean, I don't really know much about K-pop at all. All I know is like BTS. Mm. How crazy the amount of money that they actually brought into South Korea. Discoveries you make in your travels. Cloud. Well, they were good. You may now fight Kujai. Open up. I encourage you to pit your skill. I can't help but wonder where you'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Come on. Checking vitals. Please rest at your earliest convenience. Magnify haste is good. It, it, I'm still exploring the potency thing, but I use magnify haste many battles. I mean, yeah, I'd just be curious if it gives you a 60% downtime in the time that you've got haste. Right, I can configure who I open on. I'm going to open on Yuffie. Get the boomerang in, start building, get that haste out nice and early. Gone very nicely. Is he in thunder mode right now? Also, can I deprotect this mode? Let's find out. Oh my god, you can deprotect Pajata. Sick. Start building some unbridled. Oh, that just came straight in my face. I won't even. So far away. Oh my god. No. Come on, Yuffie. Ah. Ah. Right. Let's start getting Barret going. All the cost bravery. Barrier. I'm gonna get you buff. Oh. Alright, sick. Man, that flame flash. Why are you getting me all the time? Ah, I should be using Lifesaver. Take some some of the load off Yuffie when she's getting pressured down. Something I can target? Ah, oh, so you just run through the ice? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I 
They're pretty rough. Oh, God, no. Yuffie's going down. Duffy! I didn't get ready for the last phase. Whoa, to make the most of this stagger. Right, here we go. Let's make the most of this. Uh, Avalanche two-step. To increase the potency. Right, let's get Arts of War. Alright, not bad, not bad, but I'm now very scared for my life because Try Disaster is not going to be far off. Let me get a tray going. Come on. Right. Ooh. Need to get my haste back on. Ah, almost got myself caught up. Used overcharge then, it's bad. It's an Adam guy. Try to bring some heat onto Barra. Come on! This is going pretty nice. Cool. Feeling it. Feeling good. Feeling real good. I'm not going to deep protect. Actually, deep protect maybe when I'm closer to the stagger. Although Yuffie's running out of. Run out of MP fast. Man, MP is so scarce in this game. Fire disaster. We should be fine. We should be safe. We should be fine. I hope. Okay, well there you go. Nice, even full life Barrett. Can't go through that. What the? Tony, which way is it to Wu Tai? Well, that's a bag of dicks. I mean, all that basically means is rather than putting on haste, I need to um, I need to build. I encourage you to try again. Some if there's any. I need to put the material on the mantle. It's as simple as that. Then. As much as I would like to be putting it on haste, magnifying that, if that shit's gonna happen, yeah, I'm gonna have the mantle. Yeah. All right. So be it. 
I don't need to waste all my uh, all my shit on haste. I can I can man a ward. That's that's fine. No. Doesn't matter how much HP you have. Please let me know. I'm always happy to help. The village youth coalition. Wait, it's a one kill move. Organized. Their leader must be quite capable, indeed. I suspect there's more to Cisne than yeah? the eye. Well, I probably need to assess. I, I, I need to. No, that's what I need to do. I need to freaking assess this. I wish you. So I can actually figure out what. Uh, what is what? Someone needs to carry the load. Oh, why did I go through my whole list? Uh. All right, let's go and let's assess him. There's probably something I could do to stop try disaster, but I've got man of ward. Have you sampled it? High class Midgar rest yet here. Oh god, streams at four hours. Ah, oh, I said to myself, I've only played three today. Oh no, it's quarter past three. Oh god. Oh god. No. But you feel bad again. See what Who are you? Right, let's get the assassin. Right, what are you about, son? Right. Throw so great much ready, the Gorgantuman on nature itself. It switches to be far on ice, dealing some amount of damage by exploiting his element of weakness, pressure it, and remove his current affinity. If left unchecked, it will spawn a new element, elemental being. Once it chooses all three, it will unleash try disaster and it will just wipe you out no matter what. Shit. So I just need to go hard with exploring the element. Makes me think I need to bring bottomless mana air with me. Right. It's going into fire. Okay, so you got to be more on it. Then crash, that's gonna hurt. Bad right. Avenue right. three three ice attacks, icy impulse. So yeah, you gotta go hard for the elements. Hard! Do you anything I see, love? Have I done enough? So did I do enough damage just then? I guess I have. Or has he a tune? I didn't see any pressure in. I didn't see any pressure. I was doing as many ice attacks as I possibly could and I saw nothing. Straight into wind. Right. 
Sweet. Weakness, weakness, weakness. Ah. Let me just keep the heat off you, Fee. Come on. No way that hit. No way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shouldn't have done that. I should be using the synergy right now. Too late. Oh man, that all kind of sucked. Oh, the Avalon of Two Step didn't even happen. <laughs> Fire time. Hmm. Kind of wanted to get Alexander down, but. Disaster, no way. Yeah. Huh, what have I not read? It switches through fire, ice, and lightning. Doing certain amount of damage by exploring this elemental weakness with pressure and move its current affinity. That's what I've been doing. Come on, dude, are you for real? <laughs> I was wailing him with elements. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't have no, pumped in doing time. this one. Not now. On full might was rough. I mean, so I know just not kicking enough damage. I mean, this makes me think I'm going to need to get everything into the pack. Because I mean, already they're getting exhausted on mana. This is ludicrous. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this this early. No, oh, no way that clicks. That was an ass. All right. So, how do I know when he's? Because I tried tried to ask him. Yeah, I did put it up last time. I should have done. Damage is around four and a half k. Well, that's what I need to kick to be able to take. And then it all have to be elemental. Four and a half k purely of fire element to to prevent the uh, affinity. I can go hard. Oh. 
Baraka straight into his side. Barry Impulse. Oh, pressure, there we go. A kick to Nuff. Oh. Oh, okay. Nice. No way he jumped. No. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. But it's fine, right? The pressure means that he didn't get it. Okay, okay, okay. I see the light. Straight with the Avalanche 2 step. You flee straight onto Supreme War. Pretty good. Pretty good. Right, let's get Frey going. Right, let's go and go get a new element. I'm going to put Yuffie on the back foot. Right. So I've got to stop this spawn. Ninjutsu! Yuffie! Here I go! Right, Wildfire! Nice, more pressure! Yes! Yes! Very nice! Alright, we're making great work! Come on, focus shots. Another one. Another one. Oh no, he jumped. Ah. Oh, I thought it was on you, Fee. <laughs> it's fine, right? If I... Oh, does that mean he's he's um he's mastered ice now? How can you tell? Right. <laughs> oh, Come on, get the prey. I need to start using me uh, team up sooner. Oh, what's he going in? Alright. So it's wind. It's wind. No! Take charge! Ah, that's tough. 
Don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the, this fuck down now. I think I have half enough. Oh, come on! I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Is reverse girl even win? It is and isn't. No. No. Yeah, I, I don't know why I haven't got arrow and I need to... <laughs> I need to get mana wards on properly. Did I give it to did I get did I give it to you Fee? I'm, I'm kind of fucked. Right, Man Award, just in case. Oh, he mastered. He mastered but this is a pretty cool fight. I like the mechanics of it, but God is it hard to get it down. Nice rise and fall, that was, that was good stuff. Going for the ice. Ah. So I didn't really need to. Um... I can take. I take. I can take that ice. The ice phase isn't too hard. Jesus. Oh my god, you this is... <laughs> Jesus, he's mangling you things. Come on! I, I, I don't think I'm gonna get him. I think he's gonna try me again. Oh, I've got the pressure! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Alright, two limit breaks. Baron, why are you going far in the hole? Alright, nice. A long fight. Wonder if Pez will figure out the material strap. Sounds like a cheat to me. 
Whenever you talk about it, it sounds like it's cheating. Oh, for sure, Aerith would be good for this fight. No doubt. Bottomless mana, Aerith. 100% she'd be good. Drop in all of the elemental damage you need. Just get on some of the arcane wards. Dropping that saucy one and a half times damage. Yeah! For sure. Right, who's got sheep? Sleep for sitting on Shinda. Go on, get Shiva down. We need to go hard on the Shiva abilities. Oh, 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 oh. Shiva, do the thing. Ah, Blizzard, drop everything we can. How is Shiva not? How is she not giving it? Shiva. Take this fucker down for me! Right, is he pressured? No, he mastered it. I summoned Shiva, the fucking Queen of Ice on the fire phase, and I don't even... This fool's gonna try a disaster. How can you tell what he has mastered or what he hasn't? I need the game to babysit me. In another man of war. I don't know what's happening. Oh my god, she was about to do diamond dust on an ice face. Wait, 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 wait. Man of war. Man of war. Okay, I'm man of war. Did hunker in the bunker. Look the girl. Can we interrupt him? Maybe. <laughs> Come on, maybe I can survive now. Got man of war on. Where is the money? No, big question. What, what mode is he playing, guys? Uh, dynamic mode. See ya. Oh, sick. We live another day. Oh, I need some more ATBs. Oh my god, both of them just got flattened. That was rather dick. Rather dick of you, Kujata. Over here. So I'm I'm a juicy barrel. No no. Please live, youth. Please live. Oh 
Oh, I need Bowen to heal Yuffie. She's too low. She's too low. Right, save for Rising Fall. Barrett, just just shoot him. There we go. Oh, it's going nice. Did I save enough for another mana ward? I didn't save enough mana for another mana ward. I did. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm going to be in a real stinky situation. Oh man. No, can't block that. Cool too. Right, I think I just need to save all my ATB for when he gets into... Uh, that's it. Nice, we're already in ice. Perfect. Perfect. I think I might have to switch out Tifa, to be honest, for Aerith. This fight. Enough. Maybe I will if I just keep Barrett going as well. These little icy impulses. Come on. Ah. I'm not doing enough ice damage. These little impulses are just not enough. Me mostly getting hit by everything is the real issue though. They've been using brutal form a bit more often as well. This would be so easy if I had air instead of Tifa. The more I think about it. Ah, so he's mastered. He's mastered the ice. Six. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to hit a brick wall. With this fight, I'm not really going to be able to get over. Tifa's just really giving me no value. <laughs> For this fight. I don't have enough. This is really frustrating. And it's half four. It was four and a half hours into the stream. It's a very long part. I feel every want in my body just to, just to sign out, just sign out. But I know I can do this if I just switch in someone who's going to be more useful. Analyzing one's if I just get everything, because I, I know how that fight's going to go. There's kind of nothing I can do if I don't have mana. On the to, road. um, so yeah, put a mana ward on myself, then I can't do nothing. I can't do nothing. So I've just got to build Aerith and uh, get it done. Uh, Lazara, 
Okay. Oh my god. Pandemirium, increase magic power, five percent. Okay. Oh my god. Cure Kyogre region. Use shell. Can I use mana ward and shell? Use fire and blizzard. Thunder. So I want all. I want all of the elements. I've got fire, blizzard. Got to get wind on. There we go. Don't need anything. Don't need anything else. That's it, main. If material strats ching, man of wolves ching pass. No. No. Man of War ain't cheating, Revive Earrings is cheating. Because the reason why Man of War ain't cheating is you got to have the MP for it, which is actually tough in this fight. And you're not necessarily going to survive it. It's still going to take like 70 80% of your life. Here. That's right. Hello, Cloud. Air of Would you to assist me with my research? I look Stand aside. To the discoveries you make in your travels. How goes the hunt for... Should you require assistance, please do not hesitate. To Should be able to whack this out real quick now. Maybe. You keep Barrett there. Let's go. I know Phoenix. I could put Phoenix in the party. That's also a little bit cheeky winky. Early juices can I start getting out of that? Man, I hate it when he lands like that. It's a real pain in the bum hole. Here we go. Wing Ninjutsu! Oh, we should be alright. We've got this. Bring him this way. There you go. Oh, I'll give him the elbow for Eric. Right, here we go. One arrow will do. Straight up, straight up. Air is getting it done. Fuck me. I kind of don't want to stagger right now, but it's going to happen. I think done. That's going to be a really lame stagger round. Really, really lame. There you go. Give a bit of immunity. I'm trying, Jim. Sweet and sour set salve. Is it? Yeah. Quick. Yeah. Yeah. How hard's it gone? 
Oh my god. So we've been wrecked, Ginge. We've been wrecked. Damn it, I knew we should take this off earlier. Uh, use a stake of pose to increase piracy battle for never strike a pose. Strike a pose? Parrot imbues his shots with Aerith magic and unleashes a range attack. That's unlimited MP. Oh, that's going to be big. It's going to be massive. Dude, the way that that is clipping me now, I keep rolling out of it, but... Mm. That's it. Get what you get. Your element. You nasty rotted creature. Right, more wind. Oh my god, we are pressured so hard! Yes, boss! See? I'm gonna keep my mana up nice and high, it's a soul drain at this point. Sweet and sour. Make sure soul drain happens. I haven't seen this yet. Here we go. Is this the hardest summer so far? Hard, hardest of the moon, Oh, oh shit! Eric just busted out the shades! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh! <laughs> Yo! That was beautiful! That was bloody beautiful! We'll always keep Aerith as buffed up as we can. Uh -huh. Dick. Back onto the fire! Wait, have I only got a base? I've only got a basic fire. Ow! Mm. Earth's getting harassed! Come on. There it is. This is way easier than Aerith. Way easier. Can get the stack and try to drop as much juice as I can. Two arts of war.
Maybe it's not time for Arcane Blast just yet. I totally whiffed that. Supposed to be doing soul draining, trying to get some more mana behind me. Kind of just thrown it completely out the window. This is not good. Need Arcane Ward. Marathon fight, absolute marathon. But we definitely can't get it this time. Why is there with got such low tier magic? Why? I'm healing him. He might actually get through with this uh, ice level. Really risking it. Fuck me, I'm I'm pig zeroing this so hard. No! Oh my god, I'm fucking this up so bad. I don't think you big asshole. Please! No, he's got it. Ah. I fucked it up, guys. Ah. I'm dead. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. This is a long winded fight. Um, I'm fucking I'm tired. I'm exhausted. A Bitcoin's pumping when I'm in a short. Oh. It's really frustrating losing Aerith there. Fujata is a big bast. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna bounce. Oh. Too much. Too much. Nearly five hours into the stream <laughs> to be busted with this. Oh. As a calamity, great react, great react twice. Novus, Kazuya, Mel, big fish makers, guys. There's the chat. I'm also dying for a pee. Yeah, I'll come back and I'll grab this fight next time. Do leave everyone. Goodbye. Have a good one. Sign me off, Ginge. Sign you off. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll leave myself. Hi Kazuya. He's even saving big big time. But yeah, we'll catch up tomorrow. I'll see you later on. <laughs>